on the Badger Sports Network from Learfield IMG College. This is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. 35-30, there he goes, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Wisconsin, 51 yards. Also brought to you by your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. Dairyland Seed, proud partner of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. And by American Family Insurance, insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Here's the voice of the Badgers, Matt LePay. Welcome into the American Family Insurance pregame show as this week we look back to September 24th 2005, Barry Alvarez and the Wisconsin Badgers matching up against Lloyd Carr and the Michigan Wolverines. Always no shortage of buildup anytime Michigan comes into Camp Randall, and that was the case this week as the Badgers were looking to pick off a big win in a prime time nationally televised game here in Madison. Let's take a look at the starting lineups presented by U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank, a proud sponsor of the Wisconsin Badgers. We look at the Michigan Wolverines on offense. Chad Henney is the quarterback, good tight end, and Tim Massacoy, Jason Avant, the leader in the wide receiving core for the Wolverines. The Badgers have John Stocko under center. Brian Calhoun, the transfer from Colorado, he's a Wisconsin guy. Everybody knew he could run, but he proved that season he could be a bruising running back between the tackles. Speaking of bruising, big Matt Bernstein, the fullback, very good wide receivers in Brandon Williams and Jonathan Orr, and an offensive line tied in too. A lot of pros on that offense, anchored by the left tackle, Joe Thomas. For Michigan on defense, a couple of good linebackers in Lamar Woodley and David Harris. For the Badgers on defense, some pretty good players there too. Matt Shaughnessy helping lead the way of the defensive line. Mark Zalewski, the middle linebacker, and Joe Stelmacher, very hard hitting safety, helping out in that Wisconsin defense. Let's check out this week's NFL Spotlight. We look at none other than Big Joe Thomas. What a career he had as a Wisconsin Badger and was the first round pick by the Cleveland Browns, the third overall selection in the 2007 NFL Draft. An incredible 11 year career in the NFL, an Ironman and then some 10,363 consecutive snaps, the most in NFL history, 10 times a Pro Bowler and six times a first team All Pro player, the great Joe Thomas, this week's NFL Spotlight player. Stay with us, our American Family Insurance pregame show continues in a moment. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season from Learfield IMG College. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Rock a drive block? Rush a pole crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That would be super insane. Hey, all you ladies. And guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Preparation, it's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Badger pride, powered locally. Welcome back to the American Family Insurance pregame show. 
Time now for the home field advantage presented by Carrier, and it was quite the crowd that night at Camp Randall Stadium. Barry Alvarez, we say, always loved the big games, especially when they were big home games, and even more so when they were big home games at night. And that was the case for the Badgers in Michigan back in 2005. And here's a little nugget to keep in mind going into this game. The number five, five, you include this matchup against Michigan, the Badgers have won all five of their home games against Michigan since 2005. Badger fans, give your home field an advantage with energy efficient home heating and cooling systems by Carrier. Find your local Carrier expert at www.carrier.com backslash residential today. Now let's take a look at the field and weather conditions presented by Dairyland Seed. A comfortable night in terms of the temperature, 66 degrees, a little breeze out of the south at 10 miles per hour. A light rain though falling at Camp Randall in time for the opening kickoff between the Badgers and the Michigan Wolverines. The opening kickoff presented by Odyssey Greek Yogurt is just moments away. Kick off your day with thick, creamy, and all natural Greek yogurt with real flavorful fruit. Odyssey Greek Yogurt. This is the Wisconsin football dream season from Learfield IMG College. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey Yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. They better get season tickets right now because before long, they probably won't be able to. Wisconsin wins the Rose Bowl! Big Ten champion. Rod Dane down the left sideline. And there it is. You do not want him in your secondary. Back to back Rose Bowl champions. Matt Shaver to Lee Evans. Ball is loose. Badgers have it. And this game is underway with a bang. And the Wisconsin Badgers are Big Ten champions. I want you Caught by Duckwood. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to Pasadena. And touch the flame where the streets have no name. The Wisconsin Badgers have won their fifth consecutive bowl game. On the Badger Sports Network from Learfield IMG College, this is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Here comes Belva to the 25, to the 20, Gordon 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Wisconsin, record-breaking run, Melvin Gordon, 4 8 also brought to you by Odyssey Greek Yogurt, made in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. Johnsonville, a family-owned Wisconsin-based company and a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, served with pride since 1945. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. And by U.S. Bank, helping individuals and businesses work toward their financial goals. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. It's game time. Here's Matt. LaPay and Mike Lucas. Light rain continues to fall. Wind, not much of an issue right now. They're expecting a breeze from the south, but the goalpost streams are limp as we are set to go. Badgers will go 
south to north. That is right to left. As we see it in the first quarter of play, Brandon Williams, Zach Hampton are deep. Ryan on the approach. Kick is in the air, high end over in, but in play. Williams calls for the ball, catches left side 5, 10, 15. Williams cuts left 20, 25-yard line, slips a tackle and is steered to the boundary at the 28-yard line of the near side. Mike Massey had tied in on kick coverage for the Wolverines, and the Badgers begin first and 10 at their own 28-yard line, and we are underway. For Wisconsin up front, Joe Thomas, Matt Lawrence, Donovan Rayola, whose brother, Dominic, member of the Detroit Lions, is in attendance here tonight. The right guard, Jason Palermo, the right tackle, Craig Urbick. John Stocko at the controls. He is 12-3 and three as a starter. And he has receivers either way. In I formation, Bernstein the fullback. Calhoun is the tailback. Or wide to the right, Brandon Williams to the left. First play from scrimmage. Hand off Calhoun, and he is knocked down at the line of scrimmage at best. Linebacker Chris Graham, sophomore from Indianapolis, comes up to make the hit. It's second and long for Wisconsin. Grant Mason, the corner, number 13, is the leading tackler for Michigan through three games. Graham is the second leading tackler. Again, circle number 56, Lamar Woodley, the impact player on this defense on that last snap. He lined up over the redshirt freshman, Craig Urban. Second and 10 for the Badgers at their own 28-yard line. Double wide to the right, Williams and Orr. Calhoun alone set back. Stacco under his center. Donovan Rayola takes handoff. Calhoun behind the pulling mat. Lawrence breaks outside of the 30. Calhoun juke move 35 to the 40 yard line. Spins up to the 42 yard line. First down, Wisconsin. Willis Berenger, free safety, up to make the hit. First down run for Calhoun. Gain of 14 yards to the 42 of Wisconsin. Running right, super read by Calhoun, and a, a great block by Brandon Williams. Williams cracked back down on the linebacker, Chris Graham. Calhoun cut off that block. Williams on Graham and picked up the additional yardage. Williams will come out to the right. Jonathan Orr to the left. Jason Posiak tied into the left side of the formation. Owen Daniels wing right. He will motion to the left. On first down, handoff Calhoun behind the pulling Jason Palermo. Bending left, gets the corner, 45, and he's dragged down at midfield by Leon Hall. Good hustle on the part of Hall. And a gain of eight for Calhoun, who's getting warmed up early. Second and two for Wisconsin from the 50. Palermo doing a nice job of pulling. If you've watched his development just through the first three and now the fourth game this season, the Badgers have more and more confidence in bringing their guards out on the perimeter and attacking the corner with them. They'll come out double wide to the right. Brandon White is wide. Jarvis Minton in the slot. Calhoun, the lone setback, and a double tied in alignment. Here's the handoff to Calhoun off the right side. He'll shoot forward for first down yardage. About the 47-yard line of Michigan. Needed two. Looks like he gets three on the play. Pat Massey up off the stack, among others, for Michigan. First down, Wisconsin. Not quite two minutes in. No score. Badgers have something going. As they get the ball into Michigan territory at the Wolverines' 47-yard line. Michigan gave up the run to Northern Illinois, but Northern Illinois just didn't hold on to the ball. Four lost fumbles. Otherwise, Northern Illinois wound up with 411 total yards against the Wolverines' defense. Bernstein back in the game. Fullback, straight eye formation. Quick count. Hand off Calhoun in the middle. Plugged up. Now slides off to his right and is able to get a couple of yards to about the 45 of Michigan. Prescott Burgess getting up off the pile for the Wolverines. Gain of two, second and eight from the Michigan 45. One player we haven't seen a whole lot of this season for Michigan has been Gabe Watson, number 78. He's been in Lloyd Carr's doghouse. Second down and eight for the Michigan 45. Brandon Williams wide to the right. Jonathan Orr to the left. Straight eye formation. Stocko barks out the signals. Takes the snap, drops back to throw. Deep drop, looking, shoots it right side, and it is caught by Brandon Williams. Oh, what a catch. Inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Thought for a moment that Grant Mason was in position to pick it off, but Brandon Williams able to gather it at the 38 of Michigan. That sets up a third and one. Good protection for Stacco. The player I mentioned, 78, Gabe Watson, lined up over the center, Rayola, and Rayola did a good job keeping him off his quarterback. Then it was just a jump ball. Who is going to be a little bit stronger fighting and wrestling for the ball? And Williams was stronger than Mason. Third down and one for the Michigan 38-yard line. Chris Presley in at fullback. Calhoun the tailback on third and one. Or wide left, motions right. Here's the handoff to Calhoun off the right side. That's the short side of the field. Fights for the first down. He's close to it. Willis Berenger tripped him up. I think he has it. 
but I thought so in a situation last week, so I'm going to hang on and wait for the signal. There it is. First down, Wisconsin, at about the 36-yard line of Michigan. I think the Wisconsin coaches recognized, too, that number 78 was covering up the ball. Watson is 335 pounds, so when he's on the field, you're better off. Percentages are with you when you run off tackle and not trying to move him off the line of scrimmage. Talking to Jim Huber about Watson, he says, yeah, they list him at 330. That means he's probably at least 350. From the 36 of the Wolverines, first and 10. Or wide to the left, Williams to the right, Bernstein at Calhoun, straight eye formation. Badgers have something going. First drive of the game, Stocko to throw, and here's the pressure, and he gets drilled. Outside the 45-yard line, the ball popped out as a pile near midfield. Stocko had it jarred loose, wrestling matches on, and it looks like Wisconsin keeps possession. And you can you can hear the noise down there, and looks like Craig Urbic is able to recover for Wisconsin. It's a big loss on the play, however. They'll mark it at the 48-yard line, maybe the 49 of Michigan. So a loss of 13 or 14 yards. We're four and a half minutes in, no score. The Badgers have a second down and 23 at the Michigan 49-yard line. It was Woodley who knocked the ball loose, and Woodley who beat Urbic on the play. Two receivers left, White and Orr, Williams to the right, Calhoun the lone setback. On second and long, Stocko to throw, Wolverines rush three, screen left, high pass, Calhoun can't get it. And over his outstretched hand, and it's third and 23 for the Badgers at the Michigan 49-yard line. We talked about Woodley in our pregame about his ability to impact a game with his athleticism off the edge. He was the MVP of the Rose Bowl defensively had 11 tackles four tfls against texas he has to be accounted for on every snap and it looks like they want to line up woodley for the most part tonight over the red shirt freshman urban williams will come out to the right or and white to the left third and 23 for the badgers at the michigan 49 yard line Calhoun, the single setback, and Stacco will throw. Wolverines rush four. John under pressure. Throws over the middle, and it's incomplete. Brandon Williams was available at the 35-yard line, but Stacco was under heavy pressure, and that was well short of the first down anyway. So what was a promising-looking drive stalls, and Wisconsin will punt. We are five minutes in. Right now, John Stacco, as he leaves the field, already understands he's not going to have a lot of time tonight. He's going to have to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Ken Bush. On to punt. And, well, he has been spectacular so far. Was as Mike mentioned the Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week last week for his performance in North Carolina, averaging 47 yards a kick. Snap back is clean. Kenny steps up, kick in the air. Steve Breston lets it fly over his head inside the 10, and maybe inside the 5 is the official knockdown of the play by Zach Hampton. Let's see where they mark it. Definitely inside the 10. Looks like near the 5-yard line of Michigan. So Ken Bush picking up where he left off last week. He pins Michigan deep in its own territory. Nine minutes and 49 seconds left in the first quarter. It's Wisconsin nothing and Michigan nothing. U.S. Bank is a proud sponsor of Wisconsin Athletics. If you have a smartphone or tablet, you can have your bank with you wherever you go. With U.S. Bank Mobile, you'll spend less time managing your money and more time doing the things you love. Sign up today at usbank.com or your app store. Restrictions and fees may apply. U.S. Bank National Association, member FDIC. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant, and thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is Guac Day. Good Foods Guac. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. Ah! If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to 
tear down the garage, fill in the pool, and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it. But as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're going to work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. 9.49 left in the first quarter, no score. And Michigan will get, the Michigan offense will be introduced to the Wisconsin students section. The Badgers, bat, the uh, Wolverines back up at their own five-yard line at that north end of the stadium. First and ten for Michigan. Jason Avant, single receiver to the right. Here's the handoff, Max Barton across the five-yard line. It gets dumped at the eight, maybe the nine. Montez Sanders, the first hit. Joe Monte cleans up. Second down coming up about six. Looks like they'll spot at the Michigan nine. Massacoy is a big addition to the offense for Michigan. He was injured in the season opener, uh, has, has missed some valuable practice time, but thought he had broken his arm, but it was a bone in his wrist, and he was all Big Ten a year ago. Back's offset. Brian Thompson, fullback offset to the left. Martin, the tailback. Massacoy in motion. Left to right on second and six. Handoff Martin up the middle to the 15-yard line. 20 cuts left. 25. He's to the 30. 35-yard line. And Brett Bell finally chops him down at the 37-yard line of Michigan. And the Wolverines out of trouble as Max Martin blows through a hole up the gut. And the Wolverines have a first and 10 at their own 35. Martin had 117 yards rushing against Eastern Mission. Zlowski just gets nailed on the play by the fullback, Brian Thompson. And that was the block that sprung the tailback. Brian Thompson, 35 on Mark Zlowski, the middle linebacker for Wisconsin. Gain of 28 yards, 901, and counting left in the first quarter. No score. Michigan out of a hole, first and 10 at its own 37-yard line. Jason Avance wide to the right. Backs off set. Massacoy motions left to right. Hand off Martin again off the left side, and he is hit and dropped at about the 38-yard line. Gain of maybe a yard. Joe Stelmacher, who had 11 tackles last week in North Carolina, gets a stop here, second and nine for the Wolverines at their own 38. Running left is something the Michigan likes to do, especially behind Adam Stenovich, who is in his fifth year now and has been really rock solid for the Wolverines throughout. Mario Manningham, promising freshman, lines up wide to the right. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Kevin Grady is the single setback. And he short drop, throws on the slant. Behind Avant, incomplete across the 45-yard line. Allen Langford on the coverage, and it's third and nine for Michigan at its own 38-yard line. 8.06 left in the first quarter. We have no score. Jason Avant leads the Big Ten in both Catches and receiving yards. Comes into the ball game tonight with 22 receptions for 310 yards, three touchdowns. He's a possession receiver, too, in most third-down situations, and he likes to find number eight of that. Two receivers to the right. Manningham wide. Breston slot right. Avant tight to the left. Single setback is Grady on third and nine for the Wolverines at their own 38. Back to throw Henny. Pressure coming. Henny steps up. Now has room. All kinds of room. 40. Cuts left. 45. To midfield. 45 yard line of the 40. Penalty marker flies as Henny steps out of bounds at the 39 yard line of Wisconsin. Badgers brought pressure and then there was a gaping hole. Henny was able to run through it. But let's check the penalty call. Should be holding against number 88, Tim Massacoy, who was holding Lamar Watkins at about the 45 yard line. Wisconsin doesn't expect Henny to run often, but given a free lane, he's going to take advantage of it. Saluski came on the pressure but took himself out of the play. Didn't fill his pass lane, and that provided the opening for Henny. But downfield, Massacoy was guilty of the infraction. And it wiped out a first down run for Henny. But it's going to be third and short with the spot of the foul. And the mark off, the ball is at the 46 of Michigan. 7.57 left in this first quarter. We have no score. Third and one for the Wolverines at their own 46-yard line. Michigan is connected on 53% of its third down plays for the non-conference season. Backs offset. Tab out wide to the left. Here's the handoff to Grady up the middle. Hit hard and lunges close to the first down. DeAndre Levy. Played a pretty good hit on Kevin Grady, but let's check the spot. It will be a first down for Michigan, and a Badger is down and Stelmacher. shaking up. Yep, Joe Stelmach. We talked about the strength that Grady brings to the offense. It's about 230 pounds down from 
his high school weight of about 240. And you saw there how tough it is to stop his forward progress. Uh, two freshmen <laughs> collide on that play. Levy for Wisconsin, the linebacker, met Grady, the freshman, in the hole. But Grady just got enough forward push, I think, to pick up the first down. Stillmacher being looked at right now as he and Grady had that collision and was Stillmacher trying to get low, ducking the head and not really sure. He is moving around, so I'm not sure. It looked like they were working in the area of his right shoulder a moment ago, but as the athletic trainer is looking at him right now, we have 7.49 left in the first quarter of play. Badger fans, American Family Insurance wants you to win 2021 Badger football season tickets. Enter now at amfam.com slash badgers. Rock a drive block? Rush a soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? It'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That would be super insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. As we prepare to move forward, stay healthy, appreciate life, be safe, treasure moments, plan well. Martin back in, four receivers. With Massacoy slot to the right, Avant wide right, two receivers left, and now Manningham, one of them, motions to the right. On first down, Henny, receiver screen, Manningham at the 50-yard line to the 45, checked out of bounds by Langford at the 42-yard line of Wisconsin, and that's close to another first down. That's coming back because they weren't set on the play. That's yep. going to be a procedure penalty against Michigan. I thought I saw a flag flying. It, it flew into the Wisconsin bench area. And that actually was a lateral. They instead of pass, but that was a backward pass. Illegal formation. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. Offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat first down. Matt, looking at that club Massacoy has got on his right hand and wrist, you wonder if he can even catch the ball or if he's just out there for blocking purposes. You know, the thing about him last year is his receiving statistics were pretty modest anyway. I think he had 18 catches during the year, but still performed well enough doing all the other things to earn. All Big Ten recognition. You're right, he's could be in more of that role, although he lines up slot to the right. We have Ecker on the left side. Now Manningham in motion, left to right. And first and 15 here again. The lateral back to Manningham, right side 40. 45 up to the 46-yard line. Mark Zalewski wraps him up. Gain of about four. It'll be a second down and 11 for the Wolverines at their own 46-yard line. Scoreless game, 7-17 left in the first quarter. Manningham's a true freshman out of Warren, Ohio. Caught a 25-yard touchdown pass against Notre Dame. The offensive coordinator is Terry Malone. Terry Malone must like that play because he's called it twice in a row now. We're right back to it. Avant to Breston, wide to the left. Manningham to the right. Tyler Ecker, wing right, motions left. Mac Martin alone setback. Ecker comes back the other way. Here's a handoff to Martin, tries to break off to his right. He runs into a lot of red shirts, and down he goes at maybe the 48-yard line. That's about it. Alan Langford up to make the play defensively for Wisconsin. And it's third and long. Jason Chapman also sticking his hat in there as well. Ball at the 48 of Michigan. Third down and nine for the Wolverines. You can see the substitutions on the field now as Brett Bielma tries to get different personnel in on third and long. LeVon Rowan, the extra defensive back. Newkirk and Cruz at the tackle spots. Two receivers tight to the right, one to the left is wide. Kevin Grady, the lone setback. Third and nine, Michigan at its own 48-yard line. Back to throw, Henny. 
Blitz coming again. Henny throws left side. A diving attempt by Eckert. Makes the catch inside the 40. Slides to the turf of the 38 of Wisconsin. Zalewski on the coverage. Oh, a nice catch by the tight end, Tyler Ecker, and a first down for Michigan in Badger territory. The Wolverines did a good job picking up the pressure again, giving Henny the time to get the ball out. That was a good throw. You can't throw it any better because he put it in a position where only one person could go after it. Ecker stretched out and made a beautiful catch, even though he's covered tightly by Zalewski. Soft hands for the tight end, Tyler Ecker. Another third down conversion, elbow in Wisconsin territory at the Badger 38-yard line. Backs offset, first down handoff, Kevin Grady straight ahead, yanked down by Johnny White at the 35-yard line of Wisconsin. Grady, the tail of the tandem, as Henny looks to be checking off the line of scrimmage. Play clock at five, at four. Avant now motions to the left, play fake Henny, deep drop in, good protection. Shoots a deep right side for Avant, and it's over his head incomplete inside the 10-yard line. Of the near side, Brett Bell on the coverage. Third down and seven. We're in Michigan at the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Bielema's objective is to give Henny a couple of different looks before the ball is snapped, get him guessing along with the defense. That time he got pretty much what I think he wanted, one-on-one coverage with Brett Bell. Avant ran a post corner, but the ball wasn't there. Well, Michigan trying to hit on another third down, two of two so far. Avant and Manningham will come out to the left. They're tight. Receiver is... Steve Breston wide to the right. Grady the lone setback. Third and seven. In the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Back to throw Henny against a four-man rush. Henny steps up under pressure. Breaks one tackle to the 35, to the 30. Slides to the turf close to the stick, which is the 28 of Wisconsin. And I think he found that stick, too. It's going to check the spot. Chad Henny did just enough to get the first down. He did. First down, Michigan. Well, he's hurt Wisconsin twice already. Uh, with his ability to scramble out of the pocket, and that was something the coaches didn't anticipate here tonight. He came into the ballgame with only eight carries for minus 13. That includes sack minus yardage. His longest run had been only of 13 yards. Ball at the 27 of Wisconsin, first and 10. Two receivers left, one right. Max Martin back in. He is the lone setback. Back to throw his Henny, short drop, throws left side, Avant will catch at the 20-yard line, cuts outside, breaks the tackle to the 10 and to the 5, and he is forced out of bounds by Roderick Rogers. They'll mark it outside the 5 at about the 7-yard line of Wisconsin. First down, goal to go for Michigan. Lankford was so far off Avant that he had no chance even to make the tackle after the completion. That gives you an idea of the cushion that he gave Avant. They ran Breston on a shallow crosser over the middle, and Lankford was just slow coming up to the receiver and breaking down. Call it the six-yard line of Wisconsin. First and goal, Michigan. Single receiver to the right is Carl Tabb. That's her offset. Here's the handoff to Martin. Up the middle, and he'll push the pile to the five and maybe a bit inside. Kurt Ware is there to wrap him up on the legs. By the legs, and Dante Sanders up high. Second down, goal to go for Michigan. Well, they can't be as good in the middle of that offensive line as they were for the last two years with David Boss. Well, you wouldn't think. Boss was not as good as it gets. But Krauss isn't bad. No. Ball resting just outside the Wisconsin four, second and goal. Will Paul, the fullback, offset right. Max Martin, the tailback. Massacoy, wing left. He'll motion to the right. Penny takes the snap, drops back the throw, fires it right side, incomplete. One at Avant. Five yards deep in the end zone. Tight coverage from Brett Bell. Third in goal, Michigan. At the Wisconsin four. 3.45 left in the first quarter. No score. Well, Michigan three of three on this drive on third down plays. And here's another one. And third Breston, and goal. Breston's back in the huddle along with Grady at tailback. And he brings the offense up. Avant wide right. Breston slot right. Thompson and Grady, the backfield combination. Henny needs to be calling an audible. Play clock is at five, at four, three. Here's the snap. Hand off Grady over the left side, inside the five, twisting to the one, and he's held back by Zalewski at the one-yard line. Pretty good wrestling match going on there. Grady versus Zalewski, and Zalewski was able to neutralize the Michigan running back. It's fourth and goal at the one, and let's see what Lloyd Carr does. I think he would go for it here. I think he will. Michigan on fourth down plays this year, three of six. 
Fourth and goal, Michigan. Ball at the Wisconsin one-yard line. Grady is a load, isn't he? Yes, he is. 5'9", about 227, pushing 230. 3-0-4 and counting, left first quarter. No score. Fourth and goal at the one. Joshua Neal, Travis Beckham racing onto the field. Fourth and goal at the Badger one, and now the Badger is trying to get organized. They'll take a timeout. Little late substitution there. With Brett Bielema signals for a timeout, and they get it. With 2.53 left in the first quarter. A fourth and one will be coming up. Fourth and goal at the one coming up for Michigan when play resumes. Register for the virtual Crazy Legs Classic. Get a T-shirt and race bid. Plus the first 2,500. Get a participant medal. Register at crazylegsclassic.com. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Badger Pride, powered locally. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Some see a grilled cheese sandwich and ask why. I see a new kitchen with a grill and ask why not. I really need to start adding less to cart and more to savings. Sitting on this couch so long made me want to make some changes, starting with this couch. Yeah, I need a house with a different view. And this is the bank that will help you do it all. Because at US Bank, our people are dedicated to turning your new inspiration into your next pursuit. And he under center. Massacoy motions to the left. And he takes handoff Grady over the left side. Gets hit. Stopped short, I think. No signal yet. No signal yet. Badgers looking for a goal line stand, and they get it. Grady is denied. The Badgers stop him. Running left. Michigan tried to overpower the right side of Wisconsin's defense with Stenovich and Hennigy. They had a blocking back. So they went with 22 personnel, but the Badgers plugged the hole. I'm trying to get a number out of who a, a, made variety, first contact. a variety of red shirts. I thought Beckham might have gotten involved. That was Stelmacher who's back in the game. That was Stelmacher who stoned him. Joe was hurt earlier in this quarter. Back in and makes a big, big play. Matt, one of the keys, too, is Matt Lentz, the pulling guard, slipped and couldn't get into the hole to lead the bat. So he didn't have a lead blocker, and that allowed Stelmacher to stand him up on the line of scrimmage. Looks like they're going to review, though, and to we'll see whether, in fact, Grady got across. 2.48 left in the first quarter, and at the moment, we have no score. But if, they're going to review the, uh, the goal line play. If we get another look at this up here, I think you'll find that 67 Lentz slipped and didn't get out in front of the back. Yeah, he didn't get much. He didn't get much footing. No. And he never got there, and that allowed Stelmacher to sta stand up Grady. So the lead blocker wasn't able to lead, and that made it a one-on-one -on -one runner against Stelmacher. First replay was an end zone shot, hard to tell. Second play is a right sideline ground level camera shot. The play ran a bit left. This is a little reminiscent of last year in Lansing when Anthony Davis. They really couldn't get a clear look as to whether he was able to break the plane. And I don't see a definitive angle on this replay. Stelmacher went shoulder to shoulder with Kevin Grady. Another end zone ground level look. Again, appears to be inconclusive. That's Dave Whitbook. And again, inconclusive play stands. And Wisconsin will have the ball inside its one yard line. So, Matt, go ahead. One of the reasons Lentz wasn't able to get out in front of Grady was the Badgers got penetration, enough penetration that Lentz fell in the traffic. So there was no lead blocker for Grady, and Stelmacher came up with a huge hit. Well, the Badgers have to try to pound it out of there inside their own one-yard line. 
Bernstein and Calhoun offset Owen Daniels' wing to the right side. Stocko will just wedge it ahead up to about the two, just trying to give themselves a little bit of working space. Storeless game, 240 and counting, left in the first quarter. Matt, that drive for Michigan covered 94 yards, 17 plays, 6 minutes and 56 seconds on the clock. There were three third down conversions in the drive, but the Badgers able to come up with a goal line stand. Courtesy of Joe Stelmacher and the Wisconsin defense. Second and nine for the Badgers at their own two. Bernstein and Calhoun in the eye. Double tied in alignment. Badgers with a jumbo formation out there. Marcus Coleman in the game. Hand off Calhoun's a little dart to the left to right across the five and gets up to about the seven-yard line. Chris Graham, the linebacker, up on the hit. For the Wolverines, and they have a little bit more elbow room. Now third and four. See how adventuresome Paul Christ is here. You stay on the ground and just punt the ball, which is Alvarez ball. Or well, you'd like you to try to throw it. Roll and throw. I'd like to see at least one or two first downs on this possession. Could be one of those field position kind of games. Or in Williams, double wide to the left. Calhoun, the lone setback. Third and four for the Badgers at their own seven. Owen Daniels motions right to left. Hand off Calhoun. Stretching left, trying to turn it back up across the 10, but he'll be stopped short of the first down, I think. Pat Massey, along with Rondell Biggs, up off the stack. And they mark it at the 10, and that'll be about a half a yard short. So Wisconsin will have to punt. Michigan defense does its job. 105 and counting left in the first quarter. We have no score. Now, Preston is deep, so you have to deal with that, but the offensive line has to think protection first. Michigan's blocked a lot of punts against Wisconsin over the years. And to Bush, about three yards deep in his own end zone. They take the snap from Steve Johnson. Snap a bit high. DeBush pulls it down. Moderate pressure. Kick in the air. Hit it well. Breston waits for it. Backpedaling. He'll catch it his own 30-yard line. Running left. 35-yard line. Juke move to the 40-yard line. Flag down. And Breston gets plastered at the 45-yard line. Penalty markers on the play. This should go against Michigan. Well, that's another tremendous punt by Ken DeBush. Andy Crooks down there on punt coverage for Wisconsin. We'll check the call with 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's a call. 27 on the returning team. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. So that helps. As Mike said, another terrific punt by DeBush. And then a penalty on top of it. First and 10 Wolverines at their own 34-yard line. We're scoreless. Final half minute of the first quarter. Here's the handoff. Max Martin over the left side across the 35 and rolled to the turf at about the 38-yard line. Lamar Watkins is there. First hit, however, coming from Matt Shaughnessy. This defensive end position. It'll be a gain of four to the 38 of Michigan, second down and six, and that should be the final play of the first quarter. Badger fans, your team is always working to perform at their highest level, even with the physical stress throughout the season. This is made possible with on-site treatment and recovery, courtesy of the Mueller Sports Medicine Recovery Tent. Mueller Sports Medicine is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Built in sport, made for life. Mueller. Hard work, sweat, knowledge in your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. Ah! My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk, and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I Odyssey. 
Rain is stopped, by the way, and Wolverines have a second and six at their own 38-yard line. Two receivers right, one to the left, and Jerome Jackson, a junior, now in as the single setback. And Henny's going to give it to him. Jackson off the right side. He's dumped by Shaughnessy at the 37-yard line. Loss of one. Single setback. Back to throw is Henny. Good protection. Throws it out right side. It's incomplete in and out of the hands of Breskin, who got popped by Dante Sanders at the 38-yard line of the far side. Fourth down, and Michigan's forced to punt. The game plan is pretty basic when you've got a Steve Breston. You try to isolate him in the open field in a one-on-one matchup. They used Breston on a shallow crosser, but Dante Sanders followed him across from left to right, was there when the ball arrived. Ross Ryan on to punt, averaging 40-and-a-half per punt this season. Brandon Williams deep for the Badgers near the Wisconsin 20-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan 37. Step back is clean. Ryan steps up. And the kick is away, and Williams will let it hit as it steers clear of him inside the 30-yard line. Rolls inside the 25, and will roll dead at about the 21-yard line of Wisconsin. We got a flag down. We had a little wrestling match between Will Paul and Travis Beckham. See, they call it both ways. Got to stop the nonsense early. Here's the I call. I think so. Eventually. During the kick, personal foul, 36 on the receiving team, 15 yards from the end of the kick, first down. Well, he pulled off Paul's helmet, I think. That'll get you. That's Beckham. So the Badgers again in a hole, 14-04 left of the second quarter, no score. The last Wisconsin possession started at the Badger 1. This one starts at the Badger 11. Wisconsin going north to south, left to right, as we see it in the second quarter of play. So far this year, it's been Wisconsin's dictated this type of field position for the opponent, not the other way around. The average field position for the Badgers so far this season, 39 on 39-yard line. The opponent starting at their 22. The field tilted against Wisconsin so far, as Mike said. Brandon Williams wide left or to the right. Single setback is Calhoun. Daniels motions wing right to the left side. Stock with a throw, shoots it left side for Orr, and it's jarred loose inside the 20-yard line, incomplete. Daniels will motion to the right. Stocko's going to give it to Calhoun. Penalty markers fly as Calhoun is thrown down by Allen Branch at the 10-yard line. But hang on, we have penalty flags. We had movement on the left side of the Michigan defense, and we'll see if there was corresponding movement on Wisconsin. It's on Pierre Woods, who jumped into the neutral zone. So instead of third and 11, it'll be second and five. Walk off to the Wisconsin 16-yard line. Matt, the one thing we have to bring up here is that Bernstein didn't practice this week with an undisclosed injury. Uh, he's, you know, he's already been on the field, but we just don't know how much they're going to get out of Bernstein here tonight. Yep, looks like they may have to spot him. They have Jason Posiak, times lined up at that fullback spot. That's the case right now. Calhoun, the tailback, receivers either way. Second and five for the Badgers at their own 16. Or wide right, motions left, play fake Stocko. Back to throw, under pressure, dances right, flag down. Stocko down inside the five-yard line. Rondell Biggs just whipped the quarterback to the turf. Penalty flags in the Wisconsin backfield. It was a hold on Wisconsin. You'd think if you were holding someone, you'd do a better job of keeping them away off your quarterback. But Stocko looked hesitant there, didn't know where his receiver was, got lost in the traffic, and then had to swallow the football. Well, with the sack, Michigan will no doubt turn down the penalty and give Wisconsin a third down and long. Here's the call. During the play, holding, offense number 53. Penalty is declined, third down. Donovan Rayola, the guilty party. The ball's at the Wisconsin five. That's where Stocko was thrown down by Biggs. So now the Badgers have a third and 16. A minute and a half gone by, second quarter. No score. Two receivers right, one to the left. Calhoun, the single setback. He's two yards deep at his own end zone. Third down and long for Stocko. Badgers keep it on the ground. Here comes Calhoun, left side across the five. Stop and go move to the 10 to the 15-yard line. And brought down at about the 16. And that'll be well short of the first down. Prescott Burgess over there along with Brandon Harrison out of the secondary. Well, Mark at the 17 of Wisconsin. So it'll be a fourth down and four, and here comes Ken Bush, who has averaged 51 and a half yards in his first two punts. Needs to launch another long one here. The one thing you have to focus on in a game like this is you can never take Breston for granted. You have to hustle downfield. Steve Johnson will snap. Line of scrimmage, the Badger 17. Good snap, no pressure. The Bush steps up, 
kick in the air. Didn't hit it quite as well this time. It hits inside the 45. Breston on a hop. The 41 takes it, and he gets drilled right away. Zach Hampton busting out there on special teams. Makes Breston pay, and the Wolverines start at their 41-yard line when we come back. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation reminds you to always drive sober. Zero in Wisconsin. Together, we can save lives. Get the Drive Sober app today. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. Hey, Badger fans, Mots and Matt for Brew Pub. Lots and lots of pizzas. Absolutely love these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brew Pub. Lots and lots of pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brew Pub Pizzas, the perfect pizza no matter the season. Twelve twenty-eight left till halftime. Wisconsin nothing, Michigan nothing. Wolverines, though, with good field position again, starting at their own 41-yard line. Looking out double wide to the right, to the right with Breston and Avant. Avant in the slot, motions left, backs off set. Will Paul the fullback, Max Martin the tailback. Penny again checking off of the line of scrimmage. Play clock at eight. Avant will start in motion to the right. Play fake Kenny and a deep drop. Back to throw. Let's it fly. Deep right side for Breston. Overthrow him at the 20 yard line. Down the far sideline. Step for step coverage from Brett Bell. And it's second and 10 Michigan at its own 41 yard line. Matt, the comments have been made about Breston that he's not running at 100% since the preseason camp. And right there, I, I'm not a genius or have a great deal of expertise in a stride of an athlete. But he was not striding, was he? He didn't no, he show the explosiveness that we've seen in the past out of him. It's one of the things on a long punt return last week against Eastern Michigan. He was caught from behind by a linebacker, I believe. Two receivers right, one left. Second and 10 Michigan at its own 41. Max Martin is the lone setback. Penny back to throw against a four-man rush. Shoots it left side, and it's caught by Manningham with the 50. 45 left side of the 40, and Joe Stelmacher ropes him down at about the 35-yard line. Brett Bell went for the interception, just missed it, but he did miss it, and as a result, it's a big play for Michigan. Now back into Wisconsin territory. That's when you really can measure a quarterback's arm strength when he makes that type of throw. That was to the near sidelines, and then he got the ball there in a hurry. Bell anticipated well, but couldn't get, he was like a split second behind the ball, almost knocked it down, and Manningham showed real good focus and concentration. Gain of 24 yards to the Badger, 35. Breston wide right, starts in motion, comes back the other way, hand off Max Martin over the right side of the 35-yard line to the 30 of Wisconsin, lowers the shoulders, banged down by Allen Langford at the 28-yard line of Wisconsin, gain of seven for Max Martin, the sophomore tailback from Madison, Alabama. Second and three for the Wolverines. 11-40 left in the first half. No score, but Michigan's threatening again. A lot of size on the right side of that old line. Riley's listed at 3-11. He looks like he's about 341. Oh, it's a mammoth offensive line that Lloyd Carr has. Manningham to the left. Avant and Brest into the right. Martin Malone set back second and three. Michigan at the Wisconsin 28-yard line. Penny, short drop, fires right side, and it is caught by Avant. He is hit right away by Langford near the 25 of Wisconsin. And, in fact, it looks like it'll be inside the 25, and it is, to the 24 of the Badgers, first down Michigan. And this is where it becomes a dangerous uh, situation for a corner. When you're coming up hard on Jason Avant on that hitch, it gives you that little hitch and go. You've got to defend against the deep ball. Well, Langford was aggressive, got the immediate hit. Michigan is in business again at the Badger 24-yard line. Avant tight to the right, Breston tight to the left. 
Kevin Grady now in a tailback. Avant will motion right to left. Penny on first down, drops back the pass, four-man rush. Penny looking, deep ball left side for Avant, overthrew him in the end zone, and he was open. Ball overthrown, Brett Bell trying to catch up. But an overthrown pass makes it second and 10 Michigan at the Wisconsin 24. Before play today, Wisconsin was tied for the lead in the conference in quarterback sacks, but Wolverine's doing a real good job pass blocking for Henny. He had plenty of time there and maybe released the pass a little bit too soon. We're talking about spotting Brett Bell. He's out. LeVon Rowan is in. Second and 10 Michigan at the Badger 24. 10.49 left in the half. We have no score. Avant comes out wide to the left, checked by Rowan. Reston tight to the right. Now motions left. Offset eye behind Henny. Here's a draw. Grady straight ahead. Hit right away by Zalewski, I believe. But Grady will lunge forward near the 21. Manningham starts in motion. Henny back to throw. Blitz coming again. Henny is hit by Dantes Sanders. Flag down as Henny tried to release. That'll be a grounding call as Dantes Sanders put the heat on Chad Henny. He threw the ball at one of his offensive linemen in his haste to just unload with Sanders on top of him. I think he hit one of his linemen in the back. Okay, an illegal touch then, perhaps. Grady might have been in more or less the intended receiver. Here's the call. On the play, intentional grounding. Number seven of the offense. The penalty is loss of down at the spot of the foul. So Four much down. for so much for Grady being in the vicinity. So credit Brett Bielema dialing up that blitz, and Dante Sanders executes. Ball at the 32-yard line of Wisconsin. It is fourth down and 18 for Michigan. What they did was tie up Stenovich, took advantage of Stenovich, Monty on Stenovich, and that created a crease for Sanders. Garrett Rivas on to try a 49-yard field goal. Show us Rivas this year is 4 of 5 with a long of 38 yards. He's hit 11 of his last 12 tries going back to last season. 49-yard attempt from the right hash mark. Lions are down. Snap is good. Kick is away. It's in the air, and it is no good. Wide left. Penalty. Penalty marker down. Hang on. And a running into the kicker against Wisconsin. Now, the question, is it running in or roughing? He made the call that it was running into the kicker. That's five. If it's roughing, it's a personal foul. Here's the call. On the defense, five-yard penalty, repeat fourth down. All right, running into the kicker, his microphone popped out, but instead of a 49-yard try, it'll be a 44-yard try. Trying to see who who ran. It was Alan Langford who just love-tapped him. That was it, but can't touch the kicker. This might make the difference in a miss and a make a little bit closer. 44-yard try, right hash mark. Turner Booth is the snapper. Matt Gutierrez is the holder. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. It's away. Has the distance. And it is good. So the penalty costs Wisconsin points. Garrett Rivas from 44 yards out. And Michigan is first on the board. We'll take a break. 9.44 left of the first half. It's Michigan 3, Wisconsin nothing. This is Badger football from Learfield Sports. We've missed you. Wisconsin football season tickets are now available. For details, visit uwbadgers.com. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent, top-quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed. And for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players, no matter what you seem to be playing. You, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players in whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. 
because of this. We built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Rescue 614 inbound. Because of this. We built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Ross Ryan will kick off. Zach Hampton, Brandon Williams, deep for Wisconsin. Ryan on the approach, kick in the air. He hit it well. Williams will catch four yards deep. Coming out, left side five. Williams the 10, 15, across the 20. Room to the 25, touch left to the 30. Breaks a tackle, 35. Williams spin move across the 40, and a penalty marker is down. Oh, big time return from Brandon Williams, but some of that's going to come back as the Badgers are holding. Well, they've been doing that a little bit too much here the last couple of weeks. On the returning team, 10-yard penalty, first down. A look at the field position in this ball game thus far, how it's been completely tilted towards Michigan. Wisconsin's first three possessions started from its own 28-1 and 11, and finally the Badgers get a little space to operate, and then much of that's going to be taken away with the penalty. Well, they still have it at their 28, so better than it's been of late. Jonathan Orr will come out wide to the left. Jarvis Minton to the right. Bernstein and Calhoun in the eye. First down, Stocko will give it to Calhoun, trying to dart off to his left, and gets wrapped up. Ball popped out, I think, inside the 28-yard line, and well, he did fumble. Wisconsin has it, but I think there was no fumble. Like Woodley got involved there defensively. No gain, second and 10 for the Badgers at their own 28-yard line. I think field position's really dictated what Wisconsin's tried to do offensively. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I mean, they've been backed up the entire first half. Stocko's attempted only four passes and completed one. Have to keep it close to the vest with as deep as they've had it. Williams wide left or to the right. Daniels wing left, motions right. Calhoun the lone setback as Stocko retreats the throw. Working, tight pocket, dumps it off Calhoun. 30-yard line, tries to cut outside, and he gets dropped by Dave Harris, the linebacker, right at the 30. Daniels will motion right to left. Stocko to throw, pressure coming from the corner. John throws over the middle, incomplete wide pass intended for Daniels at the 35-yard line. Another three and out for Wisconsin. 8-12 left in the half. It's still 3 to nothing, Michigan. Stocko looks rattled. He does. And I know sometimes, you know, the, the first couple of possessions gives you an idea how a quarterback's going to play, and he got sacked early and been rattled since. In off sync. Steve Breston, deep for Michigan at the Wolverines 20. Line of scrimmage, the Badgers 31. Ken Bush on to punt again. Good snap. Pressure is heavy, and the kick is away. Hit it pretty well. Breston runs up on it. He'll make the catch. 28-yard line, Zach Hampton again on the immediate hit. At the 29-yard line of Michigan. Set first and 10. Massacoy, the tight end, motions to the left. Hand off Max Martin, probing the right side. Got by Zalewski, but Nick Hayden is there to bring him down with some help at about the 30-yard line. Gain of a couple. Second down coming up. Stelmacher also getting involved. Second down and nine, actually a gain of one. Second and nine for the Wolverines at their own 30. I know Nick Hayden was really looking forward to this matchup. His final two choices recruiting shortlist, Michigan and Wisconsin decided to stay close to home and like the relationship he had developed with John Palermo. Wolverines with three receivers, two on the left, one on the right. Martin alone set back. Second and nine, Michigan at its own 30. Penny back to throw, four-man rush. Now delayed blitz from Watkins, left side pass, wide open Avant. 45 left side to the 50, gets a big-time block and steps out of bounds inside the 45-yard line of Wisconsin. They'll mark near the 43 of the Badgers. First down, Michigan. That was Manningham, the freshman, 86 on Bell, who might have let down a little bit. He was beaten badly on the play. And when you give a receiver that much time, uh, that's going to happen occasionally. And they're, they're isolating on Bell. There's no question about it. They're picking on Bell here in the first half. Ball just outside the 43-yard line of Wisconsin. First and 10. 7-14 left in the half. 3-0 Michigan. Receivers either way. Dressed into the right, tabbed to the left, and now Chad Henney turns and takes a timeout. Timeout Michigan, first charge timeout of the half for the Wolverines. Seven minutes and 14 seconds left in the first half. We'll take a break. It's Michigan 3, Wisconsin nothing. We're back after this. You're listening to Wisconsin Football. 
Hey there, Badgers. Good Foods Guacamole would like to celebrate all you fans. So let's hoist a guac-laden chip to the Badgers because game day is guac day. Visit goodfoods.com to learn more and be sure to like on Facebook and follow on Instagram at Good Foods. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. Sleek, innovative, efficient. If it looks like next gen technology, that's because it is. Introducing new Infinity products with green speed intelligence from Carrier. They deliver leading efficiency and can even receive over the air updates, just like your smartphone. Now you can keep your heating and cooling software up to date for enhanced performance. It's space age innovation, all designed for your space. Carrier, turn to the experts. Rocket drive block? Rush of soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? It'd be insane! Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That, that would be super insane. insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. On first and ten, hand off Martin, running right, and the going is tough. Gets a yard, maybe two. Down there for Wisconsin, LeVon Rowan, Matt Shaughnessy. Also getting in there, gain of one to the 43 of Wisconsin. Make that no gain. Ball at the 43 of Wisconsin, second and ten. Kurt Ware reporting for duty. Monty coming off. Kurt's been in there. This last week because of the chicken pox that was cleared on Monday to practice. Two receivers left. Avant is tied to the right. Kevin Grady, the lone setback. Kenny may be checking off again. Play clock is at three. Here's the snap. Kenny back to throw. Shoots it right side. Caught by Grady. One on one with Langford. Langford trying to wrestle him down. Gets some help inside the 40. They'll mark at the 36 yard line of Wisconsin to the far side. A third down. They mark it closer to the 35 of Wisconsin. Third down and a short two for Michigan. Bell's going to replace Langford. We had his hands full with Grady. Another Badgers Penny. down, Jason Chapman. I mean, play, I, the last thing I said to John Palermo this week was, how many more hits can you endure? He said zero. We cannot afford to lose another player on the defensive line. Well, he's going to lose one for at least a play. Is We have to take a look at Jason Chapman, Geno Cruz. We'll check in. 6.08 left in the half. It is 3 to nothing, Michigan. The Wolverines have a third down and a short two at the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Well, on the sidelines during the warm-ups, you had Ostrowski, you had Cooper, and you had Gorman. You had three defensive linemen watching the drilling, and now Chapman's going to be helped over to the sidelines. He looks more groggy than anything else, doesn't he? Yeah, he was flexing his left arm a little bit, trying to move it around, but yeah, he's looking a little wobbly as they escort him to the uh, sideline. Well, Stelmacher was dinged up in the first quarter. Then he came back in and was part of the goal line stand in the first quarter when Michigan went for it on fourth and one. Thompson and Grady, the backfield combo. Breston tight to the right. Avant wide to the left. Breston will motion now to the left. Penny gives it to Grady. Straight ahead, first down and more. To the 30, to the 25, and Rowan and Stelmacher will bring him down. At the 23-yard line of Wisconsin. They need two, they get 12. First down Wolverines at the Badger 23-yard line. And Stelmacher's got to take himself out of the game. The shoulder, again, it looks like this time uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, more tenuous on whether or not he returns. He's in a lot of pain. Michigan didn't waste any time attacking the area vacated by Chapman, did they? Not at all. It was actually an 11-yard gain to the 24 of Wisconsin. Johnny White back in at strong safety for Stelmacher. And the Wisconsin 24, first and 10, receivers either way. Penny drops back to throw, wants a screen, screen right, Grady with room. He's to the 20, right side 15, to the 10, to the 5, and checked out of bounds by Johnny White at the 5-yard line of Wisconsin. 
First down, goal to go for Michigan. Gain of 19 yards. First down at the Badger 5. Johnny White did a nice job just staying with the play. He was being blocked by the center, Adam Krause, who really got downfield. And White was the only red jersey left to prevent a touchdown. Yeah, that's a, that's as easy as it gets in a screen play for an offense. 5-14 left in the half, 3-0 Michigan. Serious threat for the Wolverines. Avant, single wide receiver to the left, backs off set. Massacoy, wing right, motions left. On first down, here comes Grady into the line, and he is met by Hayden at about the four. So Monty at the bottom of that stack, but the first contact coming from Hayden, it'll be a second and goal. It's and tough enough lining up and playing physically against a Michigan offense. Makes it even tougher when you're down four now on the D-line. Yep, they have Ware and Monty at the ends, Hayden and Newkirk at the tackles, Joshua Neal in at linebackers, second and goal Michigan at the Badger four. 440 and counting left in the half. Avant, single receiver to the left. Massacoy, wing left, motions right. Max Martin, tail of the tandem, heading to throw left side, incomplete. Wanted Avant. Heavy pressure applied by Nick Hayden, and it's third and goal Michigan at the Badger four. Hayden told me this week that if he did get to Henny, he'd have a little wolf for him because they were teammates in the high school all star game in San Antonio. And at the time, Hayden was playing tight end, and Henny threw him a touchdown pass. <laughs> So he knows how good Henny is. Yeah, he does. Wolverines, four out of seven in third down plays. It's third and goal at the Badger, four. 4.30 left till halftime, 3 nothing Michigan. Sanders and Rowan come in. Neal and Beckham race to the sideline. Avant and Breston double wide to the right. Max Martin single setback. Breston in motion to the left. As Henny parks out the signals, takes short drop, fires in the slant for Avant, a rolling catch. Touchdown, Michigan. Avant able to slant inside of Brett Bell. And the Wolverines go out in front nine to nothing. Bell had that look like he was expecting some sort of help from a linebacker, at least a drop, someone to get in the passing lane. No one did, and that was easy. That was easy. Little juke outside, break inside. Easy throw and catch. Garrett Rivas on for the extra point. Trying to make it a 10 nothing game. Here's the snap and the placement. Made the kick is in the air and it is good. Time out of the field, four minutes, 27 seconds. Left till halftime, it's now Michigan 10, Wisconsin nothing. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. Visit exactsciences.com to view the company's hundreds of open jobs and join the fight against cancer. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. On this game day, Good Foods Guacamole would like to salute all you players. No matter what you seem to be playing, you, sir, are a winner. You, ma'am, triumphant. And thumbs up to whatever it is you're doing. So let's hoist a guac laden chip to all you players out there. Good Foods Guac, made from the freshest avocado and the cleanest ingredients. So here's to all the players and whatever game it is they're trying to play. Game day is guac day. Good Foods Guac. Rivas with the kick, Williams takes goal line, 5, 10, cuts left, 15, room to the 20, cuts outside to his left to the 25, and he'll be steered out of bounds by Mike Massey at the 26-yard line to the far side. That was Garrett Rivas handling the kickoff duties for Michigan. Badgers take over, down 10 nothing with 421 left till halftime. That scoring drive for Michigan, 71 yards, 9 plays, 337 on the clock, some of the key plays in that possession, a 27-yard pass, Henny to Avon, a 19-yard screen, Henny to 
Grady, and then the four-yard touchdown pass, Henny to Avon. Well, the Badgers have all of 36 yards of total offense to 210 for Michigan. And Brian Calhoun's doing what he can. 41 rushing yards for him and 10 carries. 49 rushing yards and 10 carries. He's the single setback, receivers either way. Calhoun gets the ball, running right, nothing there. Tries to shoot it up the middle, not much there either. Little setback is Calhoun. Stocko drops the throw, four-man rush, right side pass, rolling attempt at a catch, incomplete. Owen Daniels trying to sell it at the 32-yard line, no sale. And it's wasn't a very good pass, to be honest, and it's now third and 10 for the Badgers at their own 26-yard line. It was a sidearm throw by Stocko. Instead of moving his feet to get a passing lane, he just tried to whip it sidearm as the pressure was put on by Pat Massey, and the ball, the tip of the ball did hit the turf. Yep, good call. 3.40 left till halftime. Orr comes out to the left. Williams to the right. Brandon White slot to the left. Third and 10 for the Badgers at their own 26-yard line. Stocko to throw. It's coming. They pick it up. Left side pass. That's caught by Jonathan Orr, and that'll be a first down. Roll to the turf at the 38 or 39-yard line of Wisconsin. Morgan Trent over there out of the secondary, and that was a good ball from John Stocko. Gain of 12 to the 38 of the Badgers, first and 10. Good protection, too. Michigan decoyed with one linebacker and then brought another, a defensive back, Brandon Harrison, on the rush. So they had four-man pressure. It was picked up, and Stocko threw a good pass. That was his best throw easily of the night. 10 nothing Michigan, 323 and counting left in the first half. Whites and Williams come out wide to the left or to the right. And first down, they'll run it. Calhoun, left side, that's the short side across the 40-yard line. Lowers the shoulders and gets driven back by Lamar Woodley. Progress to maybe the 42-yard line of Wisconsin. Gain of about four. Second and six. Clock rolls on. We have three minutes in counting left till halftime. Again, a first down run. But they get four. So that gives them a somewhat manageable second down and six. Four is the... uh magic word. Wisconsin has only four first downs in the half. Michigan has ten. Williams comes out wide to the left. Orr and White to the right. Orr is wide. White in the slot. Calhoun lines up behind Stocko, who is back to throw. Four-man rush. Dumps it off right side. Calhoun the catch. And he'll dart and dash his way to midfield. Harris and Graham, linebackers, make the play defensively. Gain of eight, first down Wisconsin at midfield. 2.30 left in the half. Clock stops as they move the sticks. Pretty good option to get the ball to Calhoun, either by handing it to him or throwing it to him. Yeah, get him made the a ball nice, in space. He made a nice little move on David Harris. Harris whipped on him. Clock now running, 2.20 left in the half. Badgers have two timeouts available. They're down 10 nothing. Bernstein in the fullback, Calhoun the tailback. Stocko on first down, drops back to throw. Good protection, looking, lost it out left side. Daniels a catch, 35-yard line. Willis Behringer on the tackle at the 35 of Michigan. 15-yard gain, first down Wisconsin. As for the first time now tonight, John Stocko appears to be in some rhythm. And that wasn't an easy throw because he had to put some loft on the ball to get it over the dropping linebacker, 37 Chris Graham, and he did that nicely and hit Owen Daniels in stride. The offensive line doing a good job, just gave him all the time he needed, and then nice touch on the ball. That was that was a good throw by Stocko to one of his favorite targets, Daniels. Minute 53 and counting left in the half, 10-0 Michigan, but Wisconsin now has a threat going. First and 10. White and Williams double wide to the right. Bernstein and Calhoun straight eye formation. For the Michigan 35, Stocko deep drop. Good protection again. Fires it right side. It floats in the air. Brandon White reaches up, makes the catch inside the 20-yard line. Down to the 17 of Michigan. That ball hung in the air for about an hour and a half. And Brandon White on the receiving end. And the Badgers with a serious threat with a minute 38 left to the half. It's the first catch of the season for Brandon White running the deep out in front of Leon Hall. And again, we have to bring up the protection because it was so good. Stacco had the time to allow White to make his cut, get open on the sidelines. Good concentration by White to gather it and stay in bounds as he made the catch. Minute 38 left in the half. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Michigan 17. Officials step in. We hear whistles. And they're going to review that last catch, which I think they're in good shape here. This will buy Wisconsin a little time to get organized. Catch is under review. A minute 38 left in the half. It's 10-0 Michigan. At the moment, the Badgers have it at the Wolverines 17-yard line. I thought White got one foot down, which is all you need in college football. He had plenty of space on the sidelines. 
He's in, in good front, shape. In front of Hall. Yep. First Barely. Re- first reception of the year for White. A year ago, he kind of surprised people. He came out of nowhere and had 17 catches on the season. Talked about Stocko getting into some rhythm. He started two of seven through the air, but he has connected on his last three. Here's the call. After review, the play stands as ruled. The player's foot was inbound. First down. I love it when I'm right. It's so rare. I love it when they're right. Yeah, yeah even, even more. <laughs> Minute 38 left in a half. 10-0 Michigan. First and 10 Wisconsin at the Wolverines 17-yard line. Orr and White. Double wide to the left. Brandon Williams to the right. They'll flip Owen Daniels. Lines up on the left side of the formation. Calhoun behind Stockhill. He was back to throw again. Pressure coming. John's got to unload. He does. Right side for Williams. Incomplete at the two-yard line. Got tangled up with Grant Mason. And Mason was on the ground, and Williams was coming back to the ball, and that's how the contact initiated. Boy, Stocko was about to get drilled from the backside by Prescott Burgess. He did well to unload the ball. Second and 10 for the Michigan 17. Don't think Stocko even knew the pressure was there either. No, he didn't. He just sat in the pocket. Got the ball to Brandon Williams. I mean, as tough of a catch as it was, if he could have just maintained his footing down there on the goal line, they would have had a play. White and Orr are tight to the left. Williams to the right. Owen Daniels, wing left. Calhoun alone setback. Stocko back to throw. Pressure coming again. John fires over the middle. Brandon Williams in and out of his hands in the end zone. Ooh, it looked like he got his hands on it. Mason and Perringer are on the coverage. And it's third and 10 for the Michigan 17-yard line. 128 left in the half. Look to me on first glance, that's a catch that's got to be made by Brandon Williams. Yeah, I thought he got his hands on it. There might have been a deflection, taking a look at the replay. Yeah, that's one that, yeah, he's got to make. He'll tell you that. Now the Badgers will take a timeout with a minute 28 left in the first half. We'll keep it here. Stocko back to throw. Blitz coming. They pick it up for the moment. John dances off to his right. Looking, he'll have to throw it away. It was intended for Daniels more or less, but well short of him inside the five-yard line. Good secondary work for Michigan because the Badgers picked up the blitz. Now on a very important field goal attempt for Taylor Melhoff. If you can get points of any kind here, it's a ball game again, a one-score game, and Taylor Melhoff will try. It's like about a 34-yard field goal. Show us that Melhoff is one of two in field goal tries. The one make was from 39 yards. This will be from 35 at the right hash mark. Steve Johnson will snap. Ken DeBush will hold. Melhoff, the left-footed kicker. Here's the snap. Spot. Kick is away, and it is good, and the Badgers are on the board. Very important points for the Wisconsin Badgers as they pull back within seven as Melhaff connects from 35 yards out. Craving news on Wisconsin spring football? Stay tuned at halftime for an exclusive spring football report and the latest news from Wisconsin Athletics. Rocket drive block? Rush a soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? It'd be insane. Rolling that? Rolling this? Roll together? Drunk? That, that would be super insane. insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whenever you want. In your life and on your farm, Case IH AFS Connect gives you more control. Monitor your operation, manage your fleet and your farm data your way. Case IH, rethink productivity. I'm gonna need Melhaf to thump this kickoff. Here's the approach. And the kick is away, high end over end, but in play, it'll be Breston at the eight, right side 10. 15, 20, 25, 30 to the 35 yard line and Melhoff will make the tackle across the 35 to the 36 yard line. And he wants to throw, screen right, Martin catches. 35 yard line to the 40 and Jason Chapman, back from his injury, comes back to make the tackle and Michigan will take a timeout after a five yard gain, gets him up to their 41 yard line, 101 
left in the half. It'll be a second down and five-plus change for Michigan to shy of the Wolverines' 41-yard line. It's got to be encouraging news for Bielema, Palermo, that Chapman's back out there. Yeah, they're running out of running out of bodies. Boy, they might good. have to audition students at halftime, the way things have been going with the D-line. And they were auditioning Travis Beckham this week. They're out there for some snaps in this first half. Well, the given was you lose four starters off that front, four really, really good starters, and you figure, okay, they can do some things to try to plan and get a respectable front four going, and then you lose Ostrowski before they even put pads on. <laughs> you know, that's a killer. Gorman doesn't come back and practice because he breaks his leg over this summer, and then Cooper goes down last Saturday night in North, North Carolina. They're finding a way, aren't they? That defensive line, that defense in general. Second and five for the Wolverines at their own 41. 101 left in the half, 10-3 Michigan. Two receivers left, one right. Martin Malone running back. He gets the ball, running right across the 40, 45, and a violent collision there. Down goes Martin. And he's about a yard short of the stick, it looks like. Levon Rowan on the tackle. Third down. Michigan goes no huddle. Third and one. Wolverines, their own 45-yard line. 40 seconds in count. Two receivers left, one right. Penny, draw play. Martin cuts left. First down and more. He is to midfield, looking for the corner, gets it 45 and checked out of bounds by Brett Bell at the 38-yard line of Wisconsin. First down, Michigan, 30 seconds left in the half. Wolverines still have one timeout available. Well, they knocked the linebacker inside, and then the safety, Roderick Rogers, was chasing air all the way across field. Never caught up to Mark. Remember, the Wolverines will get the second half kickoff, so they have a chance to get some bonus points right here. 30 seconds left in the half. They lead by seven. Avant and Breston wide to the right. Mario Manningham to the left. Kevin Grady now in it running back. And Grady gets the ball straight ahead. Hit hard. He'll push forward to the 36. Sanders with the first contact. Timeout Michigan. That's the final timeout for the Wolverines. 25 seconds left till halftime. 10-3 Michigan. Ball at the Badgers 36-yard line. That was a gain of two. Second down and eight. So with Michigan out of timeouts... One would think Henny's going to have to put it up. Big issue this week in Ann Arbor was the lack of big plays for, for Michigan. Last year, the Wolverines had 25 catches of 20 or more yards, but a lot of those were Braylon Edwards. He had 20 of them. In fact, Edwards had seven catches of 45-plus yards. This year, they've had only one reception longer than 26 yards. So it's just a testimonial, a testament to, to Braylon Edwards and how good he is. All, all you have to do is... Ask Joey Thomas. I was going to say, he's helping out his uh, his NFL team, the Browns, as the Packers and their fans found out, unfortunately, last Sunday. Well, this would be a situation where you could throw to the end zone. And then come back and then you know, settle for a field goal, if that's the thinking in that Michigan huddle at the moment. Well, it's long right now. You're looking at 53, 54 yards, so... Maybe more intermediate stuff. Remember, the clock will stop on first downs to at least move the sticks. Second and eight at the Wisconsin 36. Manningham wide to the right. Preston wide to the left. To Vought tight to the left. Brady the long setback. Now Breston will start in motion to the right. Back to throw is Henning on a deep drop. Good protection. Let's it fly. Deep right side for Manningham. Rowan on the coverage. And it is caught inside the 10-yard line. Manningham on the catch. It floated out there. He beat LeVon Rowan out of bounds at the Wisconsin six-yard line with 18 seconds left. Boy, Rowan just doesn't have a clue when the ball is in the air. And we've seen this throughout his career. And Manningham just kept his eyes on it. It was just a jump ball, and he threw it up. And, and Rowan just not making any play on the ball. Yep, didn't turn around until the last possible instant. And at that point, the ball was buzzing by his face. First and goal at the Badgers' six. And Michigan out of timeouts, 18 seconds left in the half. Avant and Manningham wide to the right. Manningham now motions left. Henning back to throw, looking, fires over the middle, and it's dropped by Manningham, five yards deep, middle of the end zone. A break for Wisconsin, 15 seconds left in the half. Second and goal at the Badgers' six. they got to get Rowan out of there. He was beaten again. He's out, coming out. Langford's in. 
He just loses his confidence. It's amazing. He's got all the tools, measurables, or, or whatever you want to call it, but he just can't play the ball. He's out. Langford is in. 15 seconds left in the half. Second and goal, Michigan, at the Wisconsin six-yard line. Manningham to the right. Avant wide left. Breston slot left. Grady. Malone setback. Now Breston starts in motion to the right. Back to throw Henny. Deep drop. Henny dances right, and he'll throw it away. Nothing available, so he just threw it out of the end zone of the deep right corner. Third and goal at the Badger six. Nine seconds left in the half. What they were trying to do is set a pick. They crossed their two receivers, Manningham and Breston, looking maybe to knock off a defender, but it just didn't materialize. And a good decision by Henny. Nothing there. Get rid of it. And he'll have similar instructions, I'm sure, here. They are out of timeouts. Third and goal at the Wisconsin 6. 10-3 Michigan. Nine seconds left in the half. Avant to the right. Manningham wide left. Breston slot left. Kevin Grady behind the Michigan quarterback. Chad Henny who takes. Drops back to throw. Penalty markers fly at the snap. Did they get it off in time? Let's see. I don't think so. Nope. Delay a game. Number seven offense. Five guards. They're going to kick. They're going to have to rush on the field goal team because they'll rock the clock. So Michigan's field goal team sprints onto the field as they mark off the penalty. Ball's now at the 11. So with that line of scrimmage mark, they'll go ahead and try a 28-yard field goal. Seven seconds. Should be nine seconds. Yep, and that's what we have. Nine seconds left in the half. Garrett Rivas will try a 28-yard field goal from the right hash mark. The lines are down, and the clock is about to roll. Here's the snap. Spot the kick from Rivas in the air, and it is good. And Michigan gets those three points right back. Four seconds left till halftime. It's now 13-3. The Wolverines as Garrett Rivas connects on a 28-yard field goal. Michigan with 268 yards here in the first half. Wisconsin with 93. That could have been worse given the the big play. Henny to Manningham, which set up the field goal attempt and make by Garrett Rivas, who's now 13 of his last 14 dating to last season. Williams is deep for Wisconsin. Here's the kick. It's a ground ball, but it's going to bounce to Williams. Scoops at the 13, and he'll just take a knee short of the 20-yard line. So the Badgers will go into the locker room down by 10. Halfway through here at Camp Randall, it's Michigan 13, Wisconsin 3. On the Badger Sports Network, this is the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers, inviting you to visit your local Ford store or buyfordnow.com. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. The Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. Building Wisconsin together and by DeKalb. Winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb brand corn. This is Badger Halftime. It's halftime of this week's dream season matchup between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan leads at the half 13 to 3, but we promise you things get better for the Badgers in the second half. You know, we really enjoy showing these classic games all a part of our dream season, but we also enjoy keeping tabs on what's going on with this year's Wisconsin Badgers team as they continue their spring practice sessions. And they've got some uh, new coaches here this season for head coach Paul Chris. Ross Kalaji, the former Badger defensive lineman, moves up from the strength room, the weight room. He is now leading the way among the defensive line group. Hank Poteet, after a very good NFL career, joins Paul Chris' staff. He'll be handling the cornerbacks. And Gary Brown, late of the NFL and the Dallas Cowboys, is now in charge of the running backs in a rich tradition of running backs looking to keep that going. We'll hear from those guys as our halftime report continues, presented by NBC 15 and Madison CW. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season, presented by American Family Insurance. Preparation, it's the key to success on game day. 
And like your favorite Badgers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pre-game routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice-cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Badger pride, powered locally. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet on the sunny side, the sunny side of the street. And when this opportunity came along, um, it's one you can't turn down. That's the one. That's better now. In the ranks of you know, the NFL and you're at combines, you're talking to guys. Wisconsin's always one of those schools that's talked about that does it the right way, uh, not only uh, academically but athletically. So if you're a student of the game and you watch the game, uh, you understand that Wisconsin runs the ball. Uh, and what, what other place would a running back coach want to be where they're going to run the rock? Fight, pressure, fight, pressure. Biggest transition would be recruiting for sure. In terms of different or, you know, I'm a, I guess I'm a coach how I coach and how I was coached and it's all about moving forward. He knows the X's and O's, knows his, and with his experience as a strength coach, he knows how to put yourself in certain positions. He knows the certain movements that will optimize your play while you're um, on the field. What I've tried to do is continue to work on the mindset. Being out there on the island, you have to really have uh, the mindset to compete no matter what the situation is, no matter what happens. It's, it's all about that mental toughness. You know, I want to be physical at the line of scrimmage, be able to uh, challenge wide receivers and um, force them to earn every yard. I think I have a really good group. They do a good job of studying the game, coming in and trying to understand the skills and the technique that I'm trying to teach. That's this week's Halftime Report presented by NBC 15 and Madison CW. Stay with us. The second half is coming up next. This is the Wisconsin Football Dream Season presented by American Family Insurance. Rock a drive block? Rush a soul crush? Jam a grand slam? Drunk? Drunk? That'd be insane! Roll in that? Roll in this? Roll together? Drunk? That, that would be super insane. insane. Hey, all you ladies and guys. Drive sober on the road. No matter how many wheels you roll. If we build this, all the legendary players will magically appear and we'll have sports again. I call it the field of fame. Of course, I'll have to tear down the garage, fill in the pool and lose the trees. So can I get a loan? So as your friend, I love it, but as your banker, not so much. Let me talk to the friend. You could always invest in a college fund. No, my kids aren't going to college. They're gonna work at the stadium. Our kids are going to college. Sports are back. My wife wants to build a college. And not a moment too soon. Buying your first home is the start of realizing bigger dreams with your family. That's why it's important to protect everything you love with American Family Insurance. Wait, what's that? It's their dream car. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's actually my dream car. And my little dream tire swing with some dream trees. There'd be a nice dream garden right here too. Protect your dream home with American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Grant Mason. Steve Breston, deep for Michigan. Wolverines will travel north to south, left to right, as we see it in the third quarter. Mel half approaches. 
Kick is away. High end over end. Fairly short again. It'll be Breskin right side at the 5. He's to the 10. 15, and he gets pasted at the 16-yard line. Ben Strickland on kick coverage. The Wolverines start inside their own 20-yard line. 16 to be exact. The second half is underway. For Wisconsin up front, Matt Shaughnessy will start at one end. Chomani at the other, Chapman, and Hayden will be the tackles. Johnny White, I believe, will still be yep. the strong safety. Yep, Roderick Rogers, the free. Langford and Bell are your corners. Avance and Breston will come out double wide to the left. Straight eye formation, Brian Thompson, the fullback. Max Martin is the tailback. First down, handoff Martin over left guard. Not much, a yard, maybe two. A little mosh pit there on the left side of the Michigan line. The interior of the Wisconsin defense collides with him. Mark Zalewski among those leading the way. Gain of a couple to the 18 of Michigan, second down and eight. I thought Martin was very effective in the first half. He averaged 6.5 a carry. Yep, he was solid. 71 rushing yards. Cloudy but rain free. Rain stopped in the first quarter. The wind, the wind is not a factor as well. Two receivers to the left, backs offset. To the Michigan 18-yard line. Play fake, Kenny. Back to throw. Pressure coming. Left side pass incomplete. It was intended for the tight end, Tim Massacoy. Johnny White on the coverage. Badgers got some heat as they brought Watkins and Zalewski on the quarterback, and it's third and eight Michigan at its own 18-yard line. Here's a big play very early in the second quarter. Nike Guano coming on the field. Watkins coming off where on the field for Monty. So the Badgers trying to get their best pass defenders, best personnel for third and long. Michigan, six of nine and third down conversions in the first half. First crack at it here in the second half. Kevin Grady, the lone setback. Manningham and Avant tight to the left. Breast into the right, starts in motion. Grady the long setback. Penny back to throw in a four-man rush. Under some pressure, throws over the middle, in and out of the hands of Avant at the 30-yard line. That was a rope, and Avant had it thump off his chest. Three and out for the Michigan offense. Oh, Henny had to throw it hard because Ike Guano had the under coverage. Wisconsin in its nickel package. Ike Guano's in a position on the field. If you put any loft on the ball at all, he might be able to pick it off. That's a throw out. Bont's got a catch. Hit him right in the chest. Brandon Williams deep for Wisconsin at the Badger 37-yard line. Ross Ryan on the punt. Had one punt in the first half. Was good for 42 yards. Snap back is clean. Moderate pressure. Kick is away. Hangs up in the air. Brandon Williams calls for the fair catch. He'll make it at the 37-yard line. He had a Wolverine bearing down on him, Charles Stewart. Brandon calls for the fair catch. Good field position for Wisconsin. We're 59 seconds into the second quarter, 13-3, the Wolverines. Despite the success of our public schools, 69% of Wisconsin school districts have had to lay off teachers in the last year alone. Visit WEAC at WEAC.org to find out why. Badgers go south to north, right to left as we see it. In quarter number three, first and ten for John Stocko and his bunch. At the Wisconsin 37-yard line, or wide right, Williams to the left. Bernstein at Calhoun in the straight eye formation. Hand off Calhoun, breaking outside to his right across the 35, turns it up 40-yard line, brought down by Leon Hall. At about the 42-yard line, gain of five. This is the best field position of the game for Wisconsin. It speaks volumes for the way this thing has been played out. Time to take advantage of it. Second and five for the Badgers at their own 42. Early on, third quarter. 13-3 Michigan. Orr and Minton double wide to the left. Two tight in alignment. Calhoun alone set back. Stocko will give it to Calhoun, probing the left side, and he'll get up close to the 45-yard line. Not much of a crease there, but he did what he could. Rondell Biggs in the defensive line of the tackle. Looks like they may spot at the 44. So the Badgers now looking at a rather important third and three. The one thing Wisconsin's tried to do after the initial possession of the ballgame is help Urbic. When Lamar Woodley's lined up off Urbic, the redshirt freshman, now you'll often see a tight end right next to Urbic. I have a feeling a lot of teams are going to need to do that against Lamar Woodley this year. Williams and Orr come out tight to the right. Posiak and Calhoun to the left. 
Bernstein, the lone setback. Stocker to throw, puts it left side. Calhoun the catch, 45 midfield. And he's taken out of bounds in Michigan territory by Prescott Burgess at the 48-yard line of Michigan. First down, Wisconsin. Heads up play, tough play made by Stocko because he got hit by Allen Branch. There was a missed assignment up front. Branch just blew past the left tackle and guard. No one hit him. No one hit Branch, and yet Stocko hung in there and made the throw. Two and a half minutes gone by third quarter. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Michigan 48. 13-3, the Wolverines. Orr and Williams, double wide to the right, two tight ends set. Calhoun alone set back. Play fake, Stocko, deep drop, good protection, throws right side for Williams, reaches up, makes the catch, but he's out of bounds at the 31-yard line to the far side. Williams Second and 10. Williams working on the strong safety. Engelman just ran out of turf. Ball carried him out. Good catch, though. Second and 10 from the Michigan 48-yard line. On Sunday, they might give you that. Engel, Brandon Engelman helping force the issue there, able to drive him out. On Sundays, you get that catch. On Saturdays, you don't. They can drive you out. And that's what Engelman did. Two receivers right, one left. Calhoun alone setback. Stocko, just to Calhoun off the left side, has a hole, 45 to the 40-yard line, fights for extra yardage, gets inside the 40, near the 38, close to a first down. By himself behind Stocko. Calhoun gets the ball. Got a turn off to the left side. Got a block from Joe Thomas. And Calhoun is able to make a couple of yards out of not much to the 36-yard line of Michigan. There's a whole lot of real estate there. Dave Harris, linebacker, getting involved for the Wolverines. Second down. They'll give him one. Second down and nine for the Wolverines, 36. You mentioned that in the first quarter, the speed of the linebackers. Dave Harris was waiting on the numbers for Calhoun. After Thomas did his thing, but Harris was so fast east-west, and that's been the strength of Michigan over the years. Those linebackers can fly. He's 250 pounds, senior out of Grand Rapids. Two receivers left, one right. Williams wide left, starts in motion. They fake the end around. Stocko throwing over the middle. Middle screen, Daniels catches 35, room to the 30. Daniels lowers the shoulders, bangs to the 25-yard line of Michigan. Mason and Harris are there. First down, Wisconsin on a nice-looking play. Ball at the Michigan 25-yard line. Owen a little slow to get up, but he appears to be okay. Wisconsin was able to stretch the defense before the snap with motion, and then they allowed the rush to get a charge off the ball, and nobody was in the middle of the field. Defensively, Michigan reacted to motion and opened up the path for Owen Daniels. Owen Daniels is really limping. He's favoring his left leg, but he's still on the field. I imagine he's going to be of a whole lot of value on this play. High formation, single receiver to the right is Jonathan Orr. Starts in motion, movement up front, penalty markers fly. And the whistles blow. Now this will allow Wisconsin to get Owen Daniels out of there. If, and that's, he's he's going to come off. Yeah, he's going to limp off. Brandon White, Brandon Williams will come in. In the meantime, we'll check the penalty call. 10.48 left in the third quarter. It's 13-3 Michigan. Well, we heard that Watson was in the doghouse, but he must have made up with Lloyd Carr because he's played a lot in this ballgame, you know, Gabe Jim, Watson. Jim Huber was expecting Fire that. Snaps. The defense is ending this zone, causing the offense to move. Five yards, number 94. The down remains first. Talking with the offensive line coach for Wisconsin, Jim Huber says, hey, don't let that starting thing fool you. He's going to get a lot of snaps. He's right. Ball at the 20-yard line of Michigan after the penalty against the Wolverines. First and five, Wisconsin. Orr and White come out to the right. Williams to the left. Posiak single tied in, right side of the formation. Calhoun lines up directly behind his quarterback, John Stocko, who barks out the signals. Takes the snap. Hands to Calhoun, who tripped as he got the ball. Down he goes. Gabe Watson there to make sure. Loss of a yard, maybe two. I talked to Rayola about Watson. He watched film of Watson from last year because there was not enough film this year on him since he hadn't played much. But he was first team all Big Ten. He was a 2005 preseason playboy All-American. And he can be disruptive. As we just saw there, he's got a great first step for a huge man. At, did they say 331, but probably closer to 350. Second and seven from the Wolverines, 22. Four receivers, Oren Williams tied to the right. Calhoun... Posiak tight to the left. 
Bernstein, the long setback. Stocko to throw. Pocket closes. John goes down outside the 25-yard line. Well, Mark at the 26 of Michigan is Will Johnson. Sophomore defensive lineman out of Oakland, Michigan, gets the sack. And the Badgers now looking at a third and 11 from the Michigan 26-yard line. Nine and a half minutes left in the third quarter. 13-3, the Wolverines. From first and five to third and 11. That's what's happened in this series of downs. Wisconsin three out of eight on third down conversions. Or in white, Panat to the right, Williams to the left. Calhoun. Behind Stocko. Stocko back to throw, four-man rush. John looking, pumps, now throws. It's incomplete, a one-hopper at the 12-yard line intended for Jonathan Orr. And on comes the field goal team. Taylor Melhaff in the first half at a 35-yarder. This one's going to be about 44. Stocko didn't step into his throat. Now the pocket collapsed a little bit, but he, you know, he didn't do what you have to do to make a good pass on that third down. Kicking statistics show us that Melhap this year, two out of three in field goal tries, one of one tonight. This will be a 43-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Here's the snap, spot, kick, in the air, and it is good! Taylor Melhap from 43 yards out. And we're back to a one-score game in Madison. We step out, 8.59 left in the third quarter. Michigan 13, Wisconsin 6. Back in a moment, you're listening to Wisconsin Football. May 3rd through the 7th is Teacher Appreciation Week. But why wait to thank an educator for keeping learning on track during this extraordinary school year? Post a thank you note to a Wisconsin public school teacher at WEAC.org. We act, we teach, we inspire. And WEA member benefits, enhancing the financial lives of Wisconsin public school employees. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. Hard work, sweat, knowledge, and your own two hands. These are the tools that build Wisconsin. Leave your mark on the real world with zero debt and higher pay. All from day one. It's time to do work that works for you. Learn more at buildingwisconsintogether.com. left in the third quarter. It's Michigan 13, Wisconsin 6. Taylor Melhat hitting a 43-yard field goal a moment ago. Badgers had the making of a pretty decent-looking drive, but Michigan defense stiffened. Watson and Branch making plays up front, and then Stocko not being able to complete a third-down pass. Mason and Breston are deep for Michigan. Melhat on the kick. A line drive, and it's scooped up by Brian Thompson at the 20, running left 25-yard line, and he'll be brought down by Aubrey Pleasant at the 30. To first and ten for the Wolverines. Well, Mike, we've been mentioning Johnny White in the secondary, and it's his his game now. It's strong safety. Stelmacher out with the shoulder injury. And Stelmacher hurt that shoulder, came out of the game, went back in the game, and re-injured himself. So White is no stranger to, to playing the position. He's got a little experience last year and experience earlier this season. All right, here comes Chad Henney and the Michigan offense. There's Breston and Massacoy to the right. Massacoy is wide of one, wide left. Max Martin, Malone setback. First down, Henny, short drop, throws him a slant behind Avant, incomplete. Across the 35 yard line to the far side, coverage from Brett Bell. And it's second and 10, Michigan at its own 30. The one place where Johnny White needs to improve is in coverage. So I'm sure Bielema will do some things here to protect him. 
at safety. Penny through the air is 11 of 23, 159 yards. His receivers, though, haven't helped him at times. Had a couple of drops. Split backs behind him with Avant and Breston tight to the left. Breston will motion to the right. Henny on second and 10 goes back to throw. Blitz coming up the middle. Henny hit as he throws left side, and it is caught, broken up by Roderick Rogers at the 45 yard line to the far side. Oh, he closed at the last instant on Max Martin, and it's third and 10 Michigan at its own 30 yard line. That's how you're supposed to play free safety. That's how you help your corner. You've got to get a free safety to anticipate and then roam and get to the football. Beautiful play on the part of Roderick Rogers. He almost picked it. That was a heck of a pass under pressure, by the way, from Henny. Here we go, third and 10 Michigan at the Wolverines 30. Trips to the right, Avant, Preston, and Manningham. Kevin Grady, single setback. They come to their feet here in Madison. Henny barks out the signals, could be calling an audible. Play clock at three, at two. Here's the snap. Back to throw Henny, four-man rush. Steps up, throws, deflected at the line of scrimmage, and it flies away incomplete. Intended for Avant, three and out again for the Michigan offense. Wolverines punting again. I think it was Jason Chapman who got his big paw up. Crowd that time seemed to bother. The crowd noise seemed to bother Henny as he was trying to audible. Ross Ryan on the punt. Brandon Williams deep at the Wisconsin 25-yard line. Two punts tonight for Ryan, averaging 43 and a half per kick. Snap back is clean, and the kick is away, and this one drives Williams back. He's going to have return room, 16-yard line, up the field, 20-25, breaks a tackle up to the 30-yard line. He's brought down by the long snapper. Busting down there was Turner Booth, and Wisconsin begins near its own 30-yard line when we come back. Johnsonville Sausage has been family owned and making Badger Saturdays more delicious since 1945. Pick some up for a cookout, made the Johnsonville way. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on and to keep your family cool this summer. Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. The Badgers start at the 30 yard line, 829 left in the third quarter. Michigan leading Wisconsin 13 to six. And we are ready to resume play as Stocko brings his bunch to the line of scrimmage. He has Williams and White wide to the right. Jonathan Orr to the left. Brian Calhoun, who has 17 carries for 70 yards, lines up in the backfield. He gets the ball. Calhoun dancing off, off to his left, being chased by the linebacker who got it. That was Dave Harris, the linebacker, getting Calhoun a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Matt, I want to make mention of something here. That play that Roderick Rogers made on the ball and Max Martin. Wisconsin was in a zone blitz, and Joe Monty was trying to cover Martin. I mean, that was no race at all. Martin had about you know, 10 yards on Monty, so if Rodgers doesn't make that play, that could have easily been a touchdown, yep. but you got to give a heads up to Rodgers for coming up and making a play on the ball. Second and 11 for the Badgers at their own 29. Two receivers right, one left. Stocko under center, Donovan Rayola. Here comes a corner blitz, Stocko to throw, heavy pressure, screen right, Calhoun catch it. He's at the 30. Calhoun the 35, and Prescott Burgess will bring him down at about the 35. Oh, the screen is your friend on a blitz. 
That was good for about six, maybe seven yards. They mark it close to the 36 of Wisconsin. So it's a third and a long four for the Badgers. How about that recovery speed, though? It looked like when Calhoun got the ball that there would be more there. Yeah. But Burgess was a high school defensive back. Now he's a linebacker. Third down, a long four. The Badgers' 36-yard line. Two receivers left, one to the right. Stocko back to throw. Four-man Wolverine rush. Right side pass for Williams. Too high, incomplete. At the 45-yard line of the far side, Grant Mason on the coverage. And it'll be three and out for the Wisconsin offense with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Still 13-6, to six, Michigan. That's a throw Stacco had been making through the first three games. The outcut, a little bit different defense, different pressure he's facing here tonight. Reston is deep at the Michigan 15. Kanda Bush on the punt. Snap back to him a little high, but he pulls it down. There's no rush to speak of, and the kick floats in the air. Breston backpedaling. He'll catch at the 8-yard line, left side 10, 15-yard line. Flags down. Breston breaks the tackle, 20, room 25 to the 30. 35-yard line, Breston to the 40. 45-yard line brought down by Steve Johnson in midfield. But we have a penalty flag way back at the 15 of Michigan. It was a block from behind, so this will come back. Boy, he's still pretty to watch, isn't he? Steve Breston. Steve Breston. The gunner on the right side was blocked from behind, which, you know, is all you need if you're the punt returner. He took advantage of that block, so it's coming back. And now During Michigan return, will have to deal with the crowd back. noise in the north end of the stu- stadium. Yeah, he could have had the ball at midfield. Instead, the students will be on their back. 6.44 left in the third quarter. It's 13-6, the Wolverines. And with that penalty, Michigan will start at its own eight. Good Just timing. inside its own eight. Yep. This, this is about the point in the game where the students actually pay attention because they're getting ready for jump around. Oh, they're into it now. Here we go. They've been into it throughout, though. Kevin Grady, along with Brian Thompson. High formation, a Vox single receiver to the right. Double tight in alignment. Hand off Grady into the line. Penalty markers fly as Grady will plunge to about the 10. Another flag. Don't know if Wisconsin lined up offside or not. I think they did. So this is going against the Badgers. These are little things that can really hurt you against a good football team. Here comes a call. Offside. Defense number 92. Five yards. Repeat first down. First down and five, Michigan, at its own 13. Make a good stop on a first down run, and what happens? Yep. Give them a penalty. First and five instead of second and eight. Again, they'll go in with a double tight in alignment. Avant, single wide receiver to the right. He's with Brett Bell. He backs off. Here's the handoff to Grady. Straight ahead, runs into Zalewski at about the 15-yard line. Carl Tab wide to the right, west to the left, split backs. Here's a handoff to Max Martin, sweeping left. Cuts it back across the 40, 45-yard line. Montez Sanders with a first hit, then Johnny White there as well. Sanders a little... Shaken up on the play, it looks like. Gain of five. Second and five Wolverines at their own 45-yard line. Sanders going to have to take himself out of the ballgame. DeAndre Levy will come in. Ware comes out. Shaughnessy in on the defensive line. Michigan trying to grind out a long drive here. That's a good verb, too, isn't it? Grind. That's That's what what they're doing. They do very well. Manningham and Avance double wide to the left. Split backs. They have Breston to the backfield along with Martin. Motioning to the right is Manningham. Penny back to throw, flips to the left side. Breston will catch, and then he fell down, tried to cut, and his knee scraped the turf at the line of scrimmage. The 45-yard line, third and five, Michigan. 337 and counting left in the third quarter. Was it the throw or was it Breston? I thought it might have been Breston. He was slipped on that turf. We did have rain before the game and for a little bit during the first quarter. It would still be a little damp out there. But the throw was just fine. Third and five. Avant wide left. Manningham and Breston to the right. Max Martin alone set back. Penny parks out the signals. Goes back to throw. Now a draw play. Martin cutting across the 45. Zalewski ties him up. Brings him down just short of midfield. Ooh, it'll be fourth down and maybe less than a yard. Shaughnessy also there. That's very close. And Lloyd Carr is going to punt in a field position kind of game. Pretty good recovery on the part of Wisconsin with Shaughnessy and Zalewski. 
That play looked pretty good for his second for sure Michigan. Did. Good power from Martin, too. He was able to fight for a couple of extra yards after Zalewski made contact. Brandon Williams deep at the Wisconsin 11-yard line. Line of scrimmage to the Michigan 49. Ross Ryan on the punt, a little low snap, but he fields it cleanly. Kick is in the air. It wobbles a bit, and it'll hit outside the 25 and takes a Wisconsin bounce. Michigan will kill it at the 27-yard line. So a short punt, only about 24 yards on the punt. And Wisconsin, all things considered, pretty decent field position. Have kids sixth grade and under at home? Join Bucky's Kids Club, presented by Culver's. Register for free at uwbadgers.com slash kids club. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville sausage strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. As we prepare to move forward, stay healthy. Appreciate life. Be safe. Treasure moments. Plan well. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Badgers' 27-yard line. 2.22, left third quarter. 13-6, Michigan. High formation, receivers either way. Play fake, Stocko rolling off to his right, looking, looking. He'll run, 25-30, Stocko 35, dies to the turf at about the 37-yard line. Close to a first down, John Stocko on the run for a nice game. That's just a good read on the part of Stocko. That's the naked. He's looking at Posiak. He's the first level receiver. Posiak's covered, but there was a good reaction on the part of Stocko and Posiak. Posiak immediately responded to his quarterback running by throwing a block, and it was his block that allowed Stocko to get upfield. Gain of 10 and a first down at the Badger 37 yard line. 207 and counting left in the third quarter. Double tight ends. You have Minton and White. Double wide to the left. Calhoun alone setback. Here comes Calhoun running behind it, pulling Jason Palermo to the 40 45. Calhoun! Brought down near midfield. Willis Behringer on the stop. At the 48-yard line. Gain of 11. First down, Wisconsin. He's going to bust one soon, I think. No, I'm, a, I'm with you. Palermo pulling. He takes on the linebacker in the hole. That was the key block. Calhoun was able to take advantage of. That was Palermo on Dave Harris, the middle linebacker. White and Minton will come out to the right they double tight ends from the 48 of Wisconsin. First and 10. Calhoun gets the handoff again. Running right. Looks for the edge to the 50-yard line. And he'll be driven down in Michigan territory at the 49-yard line. Leon Hall held his ground. Gain of three to the Michigan 49. Second and seven. A minute 18 and counting left in the third quarter. The lead is seven for the Wolverines. You know, this might be a Michigan defense without a marquee player, with maybe the exception of Woodley, but the one thing they do very well is fly to the ball. It's tough to get outside of the Wolverines, isn't it? No matter yes, what it year is. it is. We're going to run into a few defenses like this, I think, in the Big Ten this year. Two receivers left, one right. On second and seven for the Michigan 49. Calhoun again. Running left, looking for the corner. Now stops on a dime and paid the price. David Harris on the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. John takes the snap, back to throw. Swings it out, Calhoun has room. 45, Calhoun midfield. 45-yard line to the 40-yard line of Michigan. First down, Wisconsin. Bryant Calhoun out of the backfield. Moves the sticks again. With one second left in the third quarter. 
what I liked about the concept of the play is they went away from strength. They had twins to the right of the formation. They went weak side and had Lawrence and Joe Thomas ahead of Brian Calhoun for that first down run, pitch and catch and run. That'll get us to the end of the third quarter. Calhoun came off. He was limping a little bit, like favoring his right leg. Three quarters are down. Badgers have a threat going down seven. It's that time, Badger fans. It's time for the great student section race. Presented by UW Continuing Studies. Ten for the Badgers at the Wolverines 39. 13-6 Michigan. Calhoun. Badgers going north to south, left to right in the fourth quarter. Calhoun's been doing some jogging to see if he can run. It's some sort of a leg injury. He's picking up his helmet now. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's Booker Stanley in the backfield. Williams wide to the left or to the right. Bernstein and Stanley straight eye formation. Stocko toss left. Here comes Booker. Gets a Bernstein block, but gave Watson has none of it. Down goes Stanley at the line of scrimmage, which is the 39 of Michigan, second and 10, Wisconsin. It's my worst fear that Gabe Watson would turn into or morph into Jimmy Kennedy. Remember when Kennedy came here with Penn State a few years ago? He oh, was yeah. in Joe Paterno's doghouse, said that he had been invisible up until that point of the season, and all Kennedy do, did was have three sacks in that ball game. Or will come out to the left. White and Williams to the right. Booker Stanley, the single setback on second and 10 from just outside the Michigan 39-yard line. Stocko, back to throw, three-man rush. John throws left side, and it's dropped by Jason Posiak inside the 35-yard line of Michigan. Mm. Third and 10. Brian Calhoun reports to the huddle, along with Owen Daniels. Opening minute, fourth quarter. 13-6, the Wolverines. Badgers have a nice little drive going, but now looking at a third and ten. Wisconsin is four of 11 in third down conversions in this game. Four and White to the right, Williams to the left. Calhoun, single setback. Stacco ducks under his center, Donovan Rayola. John takes the snap, Wolverines rush three, deep drop, middle screen. Daniels catches 40, 35-yard line, oh, into the 30, close to the stick as he ducks inside the 30, close to the 29. I think he'll have it. Burgess on the tackle. First down, Wisconsin. The screen is your friend again. And it was Rayola and Palermo who got some good blocks out in front of Daniels. Lawrence also releasing downfield. He had quite a bit of running space once he caught the ball. Ball at the Michigan 28-yard line, we'll call it. At the 28 and a half. Single receiver to the right is Jonathan Orr. 
Bernstein and Calhoun are offset. Owen Daniels wing left. On first and ten, here's Calhoun running right. Makes one man miss, stumbles, keeps going. 25, Calhoun, the 20, stumbling and staggering down to the 20-yard line. Well, Calhoun is not 100% doing what he can. He gets eight yards, second and two. I don't know how I got past Prescott Burgess. Well, neither. He was the first player to lay a hand on Calhoun, and he was somehow able to keep his balance. Wow. Second down and two from the Michigan 20. A minute 17 gone by in the fourth quarter. 13-6, the Wolverines. Brandon White will come out wide left. Two tight ends, Posiak left, Daniels right. Bernstein and Calhoun, straight eye formation. Stocko gives it to Calhoun, running over left guard. He'll push the pile close to the 18. That's close to where he needs to be. Chris Graham, a linebacker. And on the play defensively for the Wolverines. And they're motioning first down. It is a first down for Wisconsin. Close to the 17 of Michigan. What do you think, Great? Great Gabe Watson wants to be when he grows up. Grady Jackson. <laughs> He's well in his way. <laughs> he is. The Badgers that time double teamed him just so he couldn't get penetration. I mean, that's what you have to do with a moose like that. Calhoun now with 90 rushing yards on 23 carries. Ball at the 17. Let's call it the 18 of Michigan. And now the Badgers will need a timeout. First charge timeout of the second half for Wisconsin. 13 15 left in the game. It's 13-6. No one can thrive on an empty stomach, and that's why Alliant Energy continues to help fight hunger in Wisconsin. Alliant Energy, using our energy for good in the communities we serve. Hey, Badger fans, Matzo Matt for Brewpub Lots of Matzo Pizzas. Absolutely love these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brewpub Lots of Matzo Pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brewpub Pizzas, the perfect pizza no matter the season. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent, top-quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed. And for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us. That's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more. We can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Bernstein and Calhoun in the eye. Double tight ends. Jonathan Orr, single receiver to the left. Checked by Leon Hall. Sags off about 9 or 10 yards. Here's the hand off to Calhoun. Running left. Got by the linebacker. Harris to the 15, to the 10. Tight ropes to sidelines. Out of bounds at the 7. First down, Wisconsin. David Harris is awfully fast, but Calhoun's a little bit quicker. He was able to avoid the linebacker. First down, goal to go at the Michigan 7. That was all Calhoun, too. Dave Harris had a pretty good tackling angle. And then Calhoun just almost got past Leon Hall. He made a touchdown-saving push-out. And a pretty good effort at that from Hall. First and goal for the Michigan 7. Or single receiver to the right, two tight ends. Daniels right, Posiak left. Bernstein and Calhoun, straight eye formation. Or starts in motion to the left. Michigan crowds the box. Stocko back to throw. Left side pass, and he overshoots Posiak. Threw that one away, deep left corner of the end zone. Well, Stocko did the right thing as the pressure was coming down on him. Second and goal from the Michigan 7. Harris pretty much telegraphed that. Badgers at least picked him up and gave Stocko a chance to throw it away. I'm not sure they fooled anybody by throwing to Posiak again, though. There was double coverage in the left corner of the end zone on the Badger tight end. A little tendency breaker, though, but you're right. Michigan was ready for it. They had him bracketed. 
Daniels wing left covering Posiak. Single receiver to the right is Brandon White. Now Daniels will motion to the right. Stocko gives to Calhoun running left. That's the short side of the field. Calhoun has nowhere to go. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. David, excuse me, Lamar Woodley. Lamar Woodley on the tackle. They're going to mark him. It looks like, well, let's see. If he didn't get anything, he may have lost a couple. He did. He lost two to the nine. Third and goal, Wisconsin at the Michigan nine. Two minutes gone by, fourth quarter, 13-6, Michigan. Williams will come out wide to the left. Orr and White to the right. Calhoun single setback. Back to throw is Stacco. Throws to the end zone for Owen Daniels, and it's well over his head. Back line of the end zone incomplete. Brendan Engelman on the coverage. And Wisconsin not even close to getting a touchdown on that series. On comes Taylor Melhaft to try to pull the Badgers within four. Stocko did the smart thing there. He did. He didn't have Daniels, and he locked on to Daniels from, from the snap, and they had great coverage. Strong safety. Engelman was just hoping that he'd throw the ball someplace lower where he could pick it off. Melhaft two for two in field goals today. He is hit from 35 and 43 yards. This will be a 27-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Steve Johnson will snap. Kenda Bush will hold. Lines are down. Snap back is good. Placement made. Melhaft's kick is in the air, and it is good. Melhaft from 27 yards out. Badgers are within four. Break in the action. 12-47 left in the game. The count, Michigan 13, Wisconsin 9. Enjoy this dream season with the meal of your dreams. Head to Culver's where you can enjoy the original Culver's Butter Burger. Fresh beef cooked to order and topped with a lightly buttered toasted bun. Welcome to Delicious. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, Sausage Strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Rescue 614 Because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. They'll have three for three. Field goal kicks today. 35, 43, and 27 yards. It's a good drive for Wisconsin, a 15-play, 64-yard march. It took four and a half minutes. Now half approaches. Kick is in the air, and he hit this one well. Reston is driven back, three yards deep, and he started to come out. He's coming out of hesitation, and he paid the price as he gets drilled inside the 10-yard line. Grant Mason was trying to keep him in, but Breston has... He caught it a couple of three yards deep, started to come out. The ball broke the plane, and it was game on, and he was drilled at the eight-yard line. That's Grant Mason's fault, though. He didn't give him a definitive signal to do either stay in the end zone or come out, and Breston was confused. Maybe a little late with that. Yeah, you're right, Mike. You're right. All right, here we go. First and 10 Michigan at its own eight. Breston at Avant, wide to the right. Manningham and Massacoy to the left. Max Martin, the lone setback on the Wolverines' eight-yard line. Haney, short drop, throws right side, and it is incomplete across the 15-yard line intended for Avant, who I think is going to want to review, as will the Michigan coaches, but they say no catch. 
Second and ten for the Wolverines at their own eight. Well, that was a heater, too. The one thing about Henny, when he wants to unload, he can fire the ball, can't he? Yeah, he's got a good fastball. Make no mistake. 12-39 remaining. Michigan leads 13-9. But the maize and blue is backed up. Second and ten at the Michigan eight. Crowd stirs again at Camp Randall. And now here comes the review, I bet. The previous play is being All right. The catch was made at about the, if I remember right, the 16 or 17-yard line. So that's the difference between a second and short and a second and 10. We're looking at the replay right now in a pretty good ground-level end zone shot, and uh, this one may be overturned. Yeah, he caught the ball. Did I a good job did. of picking, up, picking the pass up off the shoe tops and then holding on to it. Yep. And the question was, did he hang on? Sure looked like he did. Let's we're taking a look again. He definitely was able to scoop it initially. The question was, did he maintain control? And it looked like he did as he cradled it into his midsection. And I think this one is going to be a catch. Verl Sell is the uh, technical advisor today, a long time basketball official has been been a tech advisor with football for well this is the second year they've had it done it but he's been an observer of big 10 football officials for several years you know the badger coaches feel like jason avat might have the best hands in the big 10 just so sure-handed they they know something about Avent because they tried recruiting him here well, Barry yeah, is they telling did. us that That's uh, right. on his recruiting trip he called michigan and committed and that was that <laughs> yeah <laughs> he goes thanks for the visit uh, i'm going to Arbor. Well, here's the call. After review, the catch is good. It'll be second down on the 17-yard line. Michigan ball. That's the right. That's the right call. At least on the replays that we were able to see, look like a catch. So instead of second and ten, it's second and one for the Wolverines at their own 17-yard line. 12:39 remaining. 13-9 Michigan. So here we go. Manningham will come out to the right once he gets to organize. Avant to the left. Now Manningham will motion to the left. Backs are offset. Hand off Max Martin over the right side. Gets the first down. Ball came out. It's loose inside the 25. And Johnny White stripped it. Badger football. Max Martin coughed it up. And there is the game's first turnover. Initial signal to Wisconsin. There's still a mosh pit down there, and now a penalty flag flies. Let's hang on. Martin had the first down when the ball came out. We couldn't see what the scrum who fell on it. And keep in mind, we also have a penalty. Dave Witt, both the referee, yep. is shooing away the player so he can talk it over with his fellow officials. I did see a zebra point Wisconsin's way. The officials will talk about, I'm assuming they're talking about the penalty. The ball's at the 23 of Michigan with 12.20 remaining. Here's the explanation. The ball was fumbled. Wisconsin recovered. After the play, personal foul, number 65, White. To the goal line. First down. That's Leo Hennigy, the left guard, with the personal foul. Wish I could help you as to who recovered it. You I want to it? take a stab. I think it was Zalewski. Okay. I think Zalewski pulled it away from Matt Lentz. That's at least a, my first uh, impression of what I saw. With Johnny White, as you called, made the strip on Max Martin, and I think it was Zalewski who got the loose ball. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Michigan 12. 12 20 remaining. Four-point Wolverines lead. Golden opportunity for John Stocko in the Wisconsin offense. Stocko asks for quiet. Double wide to the right. Orr and Williams. Bernstein and Calhoun in the eye. Stocko takes. Gives to Calhoun. Trying to bounce off to his right. Calhoun to the 10. And shoots forward to the 7. Covered up by Dave Harris, the linebacker. Gain of about 5. Second down coming up. Wisconsin ran out of an unbalanced line. So you had Joe Thomas lined up on the right side of the formation to the right of Craig Urbic. So to the right of Rayola, you had Palermo, Urbic, and Joe Thomas. 
that was the point of attack. They've done that with Joe a few times here early this season. Second and five for the Michigan seven. Jonathan Orr, single receiver to the left, two tight ends. Posiak left, Daniels right. High formation with Bernstein and Calhoun, the combination. Orr starts in motion to the right. Here's the handoff to Calhoun, trying to bounce off to his left behind the pulling Jason Palermo. Calhoun to the five, turns the corner, dives to the end zone. No signal yet. There it is. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Brian Calhoun from seven yards out, and the Badgers take the lead. Calhoun stretched out. I think they list him at 5'10". He got, he got all 5'10", pushed to the max so he could get the ball to break the plane. It was a foot race between Leon Hall and Calhoun once they got past the hash marks, and Calhoun got in. Critical extra point coming up, but we may have a review of the touchdown run. The only question here is whether he stepped out of bounds before yep. he broke the plane with the football. And it'd be very close on the far sidelines. Crowd doesn't like it, but if you have replay, use it if you have doubt. You want my gut reaction? Yeah. I thought his foot went out before he, he stretched. We'll get a look at it now. It was a slow call. Leon Hall trying to keep him in. And no. no, he's good. He's in. That's going to count. He's all right. I'm glad I was wrong on that. He's all right. He was able to take off on about the three and a half yard line, warding off the tackle attempt by Hall. And then he had the presence of mind to stretch that's, out. That's a great stretch. Isn't it? That's good. Yep, because he hit the pylon with the ball. Here's We're going to hear it from Dave Whitfoot here. After review, the play stands as ruled. It's a touchdown. It's... 15-13 Wisconsin, a critical extra point coming up from Taylor Melhack. 11-34 remaining here in Madison. Brian Calhoun, a seven-yard touchdown run. Here's the snap placement made. Melhack's kick in the air, and it is good. And it's a three-point Wisconsin lead as the Badgers take advantage of the turnover. Before we move on, let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. Ten for an ID. You're listening to Wisconsin football. So the Badgers capitalize on the Max Martin fumble. They travel 12 yards. And Calhoun with a final seven. 11-34 remaining. 16-13 the Badgers. Matt, going back to Wisconsin's scoring drive near the end of the first half, the Badgers have scored on four of their last five offensive possessions. Those three Mel half field goals and now the touchdown run by Brian Calhoun. And the Badger defense has been in lockdown mode so far in the second half, but we have a lifetime remaining. 11-34 left in the game. Brian Calhoun, 111 rushing yards on 27 carries. He has 40 receiving yards on five catches. Mel half will kick off. Breston and Mason are deep. Mel half on the approach, and he hits it well. Way back goes Breston. Five yards deep, and Grant Mason's right on top of him this time. Says, take the knee, young man. He does. Touch back, and the Wolverines start at their 20-yard line. So here we go. Badgers up a field goal with 11.34 remaining. Wisconsin leading for the first time in this game. You always want to watch to see how teams respond. The the team that's had the lead for most of the game, Michigan, and the team now that finally has the momentum, Wisconsin, defensively. Chad Henney has seen this movie before. We'll see what the sophomore quarterback out of Western Pennsylvania can come up with. From the Michigan 20-yard line, first and 10. Manningham wide to the right. Avant to the left. Tyler Ecker, the tight end, motions to the right. Hand off Brady. Right side breaks one tackle, runs into Dantez Sanders as well as another red shirt. Now Avant will motion left, and Henny wants a timeout. Didn't like what he was seeing. First charge timeout of the half for Michigan. Both teams now have two timeouts available. So we'll take a deep breath and tell you 10.54 left in the game. It's 16-13. Wisconsin. Dairyland Seed offers Wisconsin farmers elite genetics in corn, soybeans, alfalfa, and silage. Visit DairylandSeed.com to learn more.
as we prepare to move forward. Stay healthy. Appreciate life. Be safe. Treasure moments. Plan well. Cancer is often detected too late. At Exact Sciences, we're working to change lives by helping to detect cancer earlier. Headquartered in Madison, Exact Sciences is growing and needs dedicated, energetic individuals to join our team. You don't have to be a scientist to work at Exact Sciences. We're hiring for our laboratory and customer care teams and have hundreds of job openings for people of all backgrounds and experience levels. Visit exactsciences.com to learn more and join the fight against cancer. Change careers, change lives. Exact Sciences. It'll be a second and seven for the Wolverines at their own 23. Badgers up by three, 10.54 remaining. Manningham wide right, a bot to the left. Grady and Will Paul offset. Penny pulling an audible, it looks like. 10 seconds on his play clock, plenty of time. Penny takes the snap, play action pass, good protection, looks, sets, flips. Johnny White picked it off at the 35-yard line. Right to him, the strong safety, Johnny White. With the interception, turnover number two for the Wolverines. And he had time, but he might have panicked a little bit in the pocket. The interesting thing about the crowd noise now, it's not only loud for Michigan, but before the snap, Roderick Rogers had to move up and tell the linebackers what the defensive call was. That's how loud it's gotten here at Camp Randall Stadium. With that interception, a lucky fan in the stands will win a one-year supply of Peter Piper's pickles. Peter Piper's what pickle people prefer. 10.48 to play, Badgers up three and with the ball at the Michigan 35-yard line. Jonathan Orr, wide left, Bernstein at Calhoun, eye formation, Daniels wing right, motions left. Stocko gives to Calhoun, trying to bounce it left. 35, Calhoun twisting to the 31 and penalty markers all over the Wisconsin backfield. They threw it right at Matt Lawrence. Didn't waste any time calling hold. Nope. No hold on that one. Takes away a four-yard run. 10.42 remaining. Badgers up three. Trying to capitalize on another Michigan turnover. That crowd mic's pretty good today because I can hear Bielema talking to his defense. <laughs> did you hear that? That yeah, horse voice? He lost yeah. most of his voice at North Carolina. Probably won't have any left here tonight either. Yeah, our uh, post-game interviews are going to be uh, some mild comedy listening to Brett. That's a big penalty. A huge penalty right there on a first down play with all the momentum on your yep. side after the turnover. But the Michigan 45, first down and 20. Williams and White to the left or to the right. Calhoun single setback. Stocko surveys the Michigan defense. Prescott Burgess crowding the box. Stocko back to throw, looks, fires, and that's picked off. Inside the 40-yard line, a rolling interception from Grant Mason. Miscommunication there on a short pass. Orr was going down the sideline, and the pass was to the boundary, and they trade turnovers. Michigan has it at its own 39-yard line. Watson got such a push on his rush that Stocko again couldn't step forward and made a bad decision with the ball. He can't, Stocko can't get anything into the throw, and Mason just outplayed Orr, just was more physical than Orr. He did a great job. He just threw Orr away, literally. Second interception this season thrown by Stocko. First and 10, Michigan at the Wolverines 39. 10-17 to play, 16-13 the Badgers. Receivers either way, backs offset. Manningham starts in motion to the left. Here's the handoff. Kevin Grady sweeping right, turns it up 40. 45 yard line brought down by Nick Hayden along with Alan Langford. Gain of six to the 45 of Michigan. Second down and four for the Wolverines. Clock running, 10 minutes in counting to play. What that turnover does is really dramatically influence field position. Yes. Well, Michigan has very good field position. Avant wide left. Manningham slot left. Offset eye. Tops of the fullback. Kevin Grady is the tailback. And he will take the snap. Here's the Grady probing right across the 45. Slams into Watkins, but it was Grady. Initiating the contact, and Grady gets the first down across midfield into Wisconsin territory at the Badgers' 49-yard line. Just to expand on that thought, the worst thing that happened in Wisconsin on that series was the turnover because if the Badgers just punt the ball, they have now influenced and dictated field position to Michigan, but 
Fat throw by Stocko, and now Michigan's on the move. This is the first time in the second half that Michigan has been into Wisconsin territory. At the Badger 49-yard line, 9.22 and counting remaining, 16-13 Wisconsin. Manningham wide to the right, Avant to the left. Brady the lone setback, Massacoy, wing right, motions left. First down handoff, pitch back to Henny on a flea flicker, looks deep. He throws it deep down the middle for Manningham, who makes the catch, touchdown Michigan. He got behind Langford, the flea flicker works to perfection, 49 yards, and Michigan regains the lead. Coaching staff knew it was coming at some point in the game, they just didn't know what play it would be. They're going to get a penalty now for excessive celebration, but the big play has been executed. Manningham had about three strides on Allen Langford. It was, it was no race. Second touchdown pass of the day for Chad Henney. And they did not throw a flag as that huddle broke up pretty quickly. Garrett Rivas with the extra point try to try to give Michigan a four-point lead again. Here's the snap and the kick. It's in the air, and it is good. So the Badgers will need to reach the end zone. 9-0-3 left in the game. We'll keep it here. It's Michigan 20 Wisconsin 16, so both teams now have scored touchdowns off of turnovers. And to, to correct something I said, it was not only Stocko's throw. It probably wasn't Stocko's throw that resulted in the turnover as much as Jonathan Orr just getting manhandled by Grant Mason. Stocko threw the ball to where Orr was supposed to be. It just the fact was Orr wasn't there on the play, and that led to the turnover and then the trick play with Langford getting beat one-on-one coverage. Badger football is brought to you by m and Bank, where we go above and beyond to serve you better. m and Bank, just the partner you need. Fans, what's your favorite Camp Randall memory? Share your personal stories and experiences about Wisconsin football. Selected submissions receive Varsity Club tickets to an upcoming home game and a subscription to Madison Magazine. Submit your memory at uwbadgers.com. Michigan up four with 9.03 remaining. A game-turning sequence there as Wisconsin got a turnover at the Michigan 35, a penalty on first down, and then a turnover, interception, and Michigan's able to capitalize. Ross Ryan will kick off. Brandon Williams deep for Wisconsin. Here's the kick from Ryan. This is steered to the far side of the field. Williams, two yards deep, coming out. Left side, five. Williams, 10, 15, across the 20. Williams, 25, 30, 35 to the 40. Tight rope to sideline and pulled out of bounds near midfield. Brandon Williams, another nifty return. I think that was Mason, Grant Mason, over on the stop. Good field position for the Badgers at their own 46-yard line. Mason was the only player left after Williams broke through the pack, had a good tackling angle, and made the play. All right. Field position tilted in Wisconsin's favor in this second half, and let's see if the Badgers can take advantage with 8.56 remaining. Orr and Minton double wide to the right. Badgers go double tight ends. Calhoun a single setback. On first down, here comes Calhoun running right. Brian to the 50-yard line into Michigan territory. Wrapped up. Taken down by Dave Harris. Now he starts in motion to the left. Here comes a handoff to Calhoun. Running behind the pulling Jason Palermo. Got a block. 45. Calhoun the 40. Juke move down to the 35-yard line. Grant Mason on the tackle. Looks like they'll mark at the 36. First down, Wisconsin. Clock stops to move the chain. 8.07 remaining. Well, that was a good chop block by Palermo, who loves doing it. Loves cutting down people. I think it was Dave Harris he cut down to, but it was a point of attack with Owen Daniels leading the way. Posiak blocking down. Daniels tying up Prescott Burgess, and then Palermo doing his job by cutting the middle linebacker, Dave Harris. Brandon White will come out to the right. Williams to the left. First and 10, Wisconsin at the Wolverines, 36-yard line. Michigan leads 20-16, to 16, 7.50 and counting left in the game. Daniels wing left, motions right. Stocker one first down, hands to Calhoun. Cuts inside the 35, and he will push his way to the 30-yard line. Well, offensive line is creating a little bit of space. Chris Graham, the linebacker, on the tackle, gain of six. One thing I like about Calhoun, too, you saw there he was thinking about cutting it outside, breaking it, bouncing it outside, but he felt... Like, in this situation, it's more important to get the positive yardage between the hash. Yeah, you're right. I thought he was going to try to bust it outside. Second and four at the Michigan 30. 7-15 and counting. Four wide right. Now he'll adjust and line up wide to the left. Play clock at seven. Backs in the eye. Daniels wing right. So moving up front. Fumbled snap. And Stocko falls on it at the 31-yard line. There was some movement up front was Watson. It looked like he jumped in the neutral zone. Got back, though. Yeah, he did. 
And it's third and five. You think maybe Rayola tried to hike the ball while he was... Yeah, not sure. Because Stocker wasn't ready for the snap. I think Rayola's going to complain now that he got touched on the play. Big Watson jumping off. Take a look at a replay, but you really can't tell. Third and five, Wisconsin at the Michigan 31. 8.30, make that 6.35. And counting left of the game. Orr and White to the right. Williams to the left. Stocko from the shotgun as Calhoun to his left. Stocko takes the snap, swings it left side. Calhoun will catch at the 35-yard line. Flag down, and Calhoun brought down at the line of scrimmage. Holding on Joe Thomas. Illegal use of the hands, blocking with his hands. He didn't get a good angle on Chris Graham, and the flag was thrown right at Joe. So it's fourth and five if Michigan turns it down. Here's the call. Illegal block in the back, number 72 offense. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Repeat, third down. Third down and 15 from the Michigan 41. 621 to play, 20 to 16, the Wolverines. And each of these last two possessions, penalties, have really hurt Wisconsin. Yeah, pretty easy call, I guess. Joe pushed him in the back. Of course, it looked like he may have turned into him, and that's what has Alvarez upset. Next play, right now. White and Orr to the right. Williams to the left. Stocko back under his center. Calhoun alone setback. Stocko back to throw. Four-man rush. Deep drop. Throwing on the crosser. Caught by Brandon Williams at the 40-yard line. And tried to stop on a dime and cut it up, but he is covered up at about the 36-yard line of Michigan. So a fourth down, and looks like they're going to punt here, perhaps, and try to pin them deep. As we'd be looking at about a 55-yard field goal, so they're going to play the field position game. Ken Bush will punt. Line of scrimmage to Michigan, 36. Fourth and 10. Well, this is where they should have been the last possession had it not been for the turnover. Yep. 524 remaining. Wisconsin has two timeouts available. Keep that in mind. Snapback is good. And the bush with the kick in the air. And Zach Hampton racing down there. It hits inside the 10. Hampton will kill it at the three-yard line. That 10 to Bush is a gem as a punter. Timeout on the field. Five minutes, 11 seconds left in the game. And the Wisconsin defense needs a stop right now. UW Health Sports Medicine, the healthcare team for the Badgers and proud sponsors of UW Athletics. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. As a Wisconsin Badgers football fan, you probably know a thing or two about consistent top quality performance. Hi, I'm Gary Leeper, General Manager at Dairyland Seed. And for over 110 years, we've been delivering nothing but the industry's best seed designed to deliver higher yields and unmatched quality to farmers in all environments and conditions. So just as you can bet on Bucky dominating the ground game, you can count on Dairyland Seed to be your most valuable partner each and every season. Dairyland Seed, proud sponsor of Wisconsin football and Wisconsin farmers. Hey, Badger fans, Mots and Matt for Brew Pub. Lots and lots of pizzas. Absolutely love these Dream Season Badger games from back in the day. Hey, speaking of back in the day, remember when frozen pizzas were like a piece of cardboard laden with a flavorless sauce, topped with ingredients you'd reach after five bites, then sparsely decorated with cheese? Well, not anymore. Brew Pub, lots and lots of pizzas came along and were a game changer. A crispy, thin cracker crust topped with a bold sauce, loaded with quality meat and veggie toppings, then bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning mozzarella cheese. Brew Pub Pizza's the perfect pizza no matter the season. Here in the Midwest, community is important. Having a healthcare system that's looking out for us, that's actively addressing the racial disparities in healthcare, is important. When we can get good quality care, we can do more, we can achieve more. We can be the kind of community we want to be, and that's really important. UW Health. Remarkable medicine. Remarkable care. Under his center, Adam Krause. The box starts in motion. Here's the handoff to Grady over the right side, wrapped up by Nick Hayden, along with Mark Zalewski at the five. Check that that was Joe Monte on the tackle, and Jason Chapman shaking up again. Really slow moving now. He's rolling around a little bit. Looks like he got a whacked on his left knee. Double tight ends. Massacoy, wing left, motions right. Here's the handoff to Grady, running right. Johnny White wraps him up and pulls him out of bounds. At about the nine-yard line of the far side. 
Gain of four, and that'll stop the clock with 4.41 to play. Third and four for the Wolverines. Well, that worked to Wisconsin's advantage, stopping the clock and, and just a real good play on the part of Johnny White. He played through the right tackle, Ruben Riley, to make the stop on the far sidelines. Michigan 6 of 12, converting on third down. Third and fourth, their own nine. Avant wide right. Grady and Thompson are offset. And he barks out the signals. Play fake. Looks to throw. Good protection. Fires it right side. And he threw it away. Incomplete. Stops the clock again. And the Badger defense does its job. Wolverines punting. Line of scrimmage the Michigan 9. I think there's a miscommunication between quarterback and receiver there. I think so, yeah. The ball just flew away. Ross Ryan has averaged a bit better than 41 yards per kick. Brandon Williams deep at the Wisconsin 47. Snap back is good. Not much pressure. Kick in the air. Williams calls for the fair catch. He'll make it at the 48-yard line. Darnell Hood was closing on Brandon Williams. Good decision by Brandon. Well, the Badgers have it at their 48-yard line. They have two timeouts. 4.29 remaining, and it's 20-16 to Michigan. Matt, you talk about little things in games. The coverage there provided by Hood forced Williams to take the fair catch. They couldn't slow down the gunner. Had they been able to slow him down, get in his way, who knows? Maybe Williams can tack on a positive 8 to 10 yards on that return. At least. And there was no return. Williams and Orr double wide to the left. J.O. is wide. Brandon in the slot. Bernstein and Calhoun. Straight eye formation. Stocko. Here's to Calhoun, running left as Palermo pulls for him. Not much room as Calhoun gets to the 50. Lamar Woodley closing the gate. Gain of a couple. Second down coming up for Wisconsin. 4-15 and counter. Owen Daniels will check in. Bernstein comes out. Talk about a guy who's gutted it out. Matt Bernstein yep. tonight. He's practiced about as much as we have this week. Second and eight from the 50. Williams comes out to the left or to the right. Daniels wing left. And he'll motion off to the right on second and eight from midfield. And off Calhoun again off the right side. Cuts it back up. 45 yanked down at the 44-yard line. It was Leon Hall on the stop. Third and two. 337 and counting left in the game. 20 to 16, Michigan. Critical third down and two coming up as Bernstein and Brandon White check back in. Badgers just 5 of 14 on third down situations in this game. Well, they're not in a position now to give up the ball. So they've got a couple of snaps to get that first down. Brandon White will come out to the left. Daniels wing to the right covering Posiak. Bernstein and Calhoun are off set. Stocko. Gives to Calhoun. Daniels and Palermo trying to clear space. Calhoun slips through for the first down to the 41-yard line. Not much room, just enough. Clock stops. 3.03 remaining. Ball at the Michigan 41. Wolverines leading 20-16 to as we go down to the wire in Madison. Got quite a few bodies out in front of Brian Calhoun that time with Daniels in motion to that side of the field, the left side of the offensive formation. Palermo pulling. Badgers uh, executed pretty well. Badgers methodical in the offense. Clock running, 2.48 to play. First and 10 at the Michigan 41. Williams wide left or wide right. Daniels will motion from the left wing to the right side of the formation. Stock go play action fake and a deep drop. Plenty of time. Guns it over the middle. Caught by Brandon Williams inside the 35, but he got wrapped up right away by Grant Mason. Progress will get him to the 32 of Michigan. Gain of nine. Clock running. 227 and counting. Keep in mind the Badgers have two timeouts available. Second and one. Badgers will continue to huddle. I like that call because it broke a tendency on first down, throwing the ball. Good protection on the deep drop. 213 and counting. Second and one for the Michigan 32. Stacco breaks the huddle. 207 and counting. Brandon White wide to the right. Bernstein and Calhoun straight eye formation. Two minutes and counting. White starts in motion to the left. Here's the handoff to Calhoun, and he got stoned at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be short of the first down. I think that was Engelman pouring in there. 145 and counting. Third and one from the Michigan 32-yard line. Badgers still very methodical as they huddle. 
135 and counting. Third and one on the Wolverines' 32-yard line. Brandon White wide to the right, 128 and counting. Play clock at 15. Backs in the eye, double tight end set. Stocko will give to Calhoun, running left, gets the corner, 30. Calhoun, the 25, and a first down. They'll mark at the 24-yard line. Clock stops, 118 to play. First down, Wisconsin. Oh, Bernstein just bowled over Grant Mason on the far sidelines. That allowed Calhoun to get another five yards. They now rock the clock. Balls at the 23 of Michigan. 113 and counting. First and 10, Wisconsin. 108 and counting. 20 to 16, the Wolverines. The Badgers, though, threatening to score and take the lead late. Receivers either way, eye formation or wide right. Starts to motion to the left. Stocko. Back to throw, good protection, dumps it off. Calhoun will catch at the 20 yard line, breaks a tackle, running left to the 15 and yanked down inside the 15 yard line. Dave Harris on the tackle at the 13. 49 seconds left. And the clock stops, they're close to a first down. This, I believe, is an official's timeout. It is, they'll measure with 49 seconds left. So the Badgers will have time to get organized here and get a play call. 49 seconds left. Wisconsin still has two timeouts available. 20 to 16, Michigan. What a move Calhoun put on the inside linebacker, Chris Graham. I mean, Graham was in a pretty good position, tackling position, to limit that game, but Calhoun was able to swing away from him and get to the sidelines. He was about, what, six inches short of that first down? Yep. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. No, because it stopped the clock. Yep, absolutely. Now, Alvarez is yeah, motioning want, to yep. his offense to get up to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he wants to bank those timeouts as long as he can. And the Badgers break their huddle as the officials just get the chain gang out of the way. Ball at the 13 of Michigan, second down, about a half a foot. Calhoun and Daniels line up to the left. Williams and Orr to the right. 49 seconds left. The lead is four for Michigan. Bernstein, the lone setback. Stocko calls for the ball. Now back to pass. Looks, sets, throws. Calhoun catches left side of the 10. Inside the 10. Down to the five-yard line. Mason on the tackle. Clock stops. 38 seconds left. First down goal to go. Wisconsin five yards away from the lead in the final minute here in Madison. And now the Badgers will take a timeout. They have one left. Matt Calhoun, after the catch, broke another tackle. So these are real critical yak yards on the part of Calhoun on each of the last two plays. they are four-yard passes, yet Calhoun is picking up additional yardage after the catch. Previous play was able to just use a move to force a linebacker Graham to miss. This time, he broke the tackle and got between the hash marks to pick up the positive yardage. Brian Calhoun running the ball 35 times for 155 yards. He has seven catches for 59 more yards. First and goal, Wisconsin at the Michigan 5, 38 seconds remaining, with the Wolverines clinging to a four-point lead, 20-16. to 16. Remember, the Badgers still have one timeout left. Wisconsin five yards away from the lead in what has been a headbanger of a Big Ten opener at Camp Randall Stadium. Kind of expected it, didn't you? Absolutely. Now your offense asking for quiet. Understandably so. It's been yep. pretty noisy here in the second half. Bernstein will now check out. And Stocko brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Williams wide left or slot left. Daniels, ring white, wing right, covering Posiak. Or in motion to the right, Stocko back to throw, looks, sets, throws, knocked down, incomplete. 35 seconds remaining. Second and goal at the Michigan 5. Is that Watson, 78? I think so. God, he's been tough to handle inside. They've tried to block him with two, just trying to slow down his rush, but he's hard to handle. All right, clock, not an issue. Incomplete pass, 35 seconds remaining. Kind of reminds me of the Iowa game from a few years ago. Going yeah, it into does. The same end zone. This will have a better result, though, right? Stocko is a quarterback, yep. too. Williams wide to the left. 
Orr, Daniels, and Posiak tight to the right. Calhoun, single setback on second and goal for the Michigan Five. Stocko back to throw, good protection. Fires right side to the end zone. It is knocked down, incomplete. Intended for Jonathan Orr. It was batted away by Leon Hall. Third and goal for the Michigan Five. 29 seconds left. That's not a good throw by John Stocko. You're lucky that wasn't picked. He's got to put some air under it and didn't do it, and you're right. Threw it too short, too low. Two shots left for Wisconsin. Third and goal at the Michigan five. Ball at the left hash mark. 29 seconds left. Michigan leads 20 to 16. Williams wide left. Whites and Orr to the right. Calhoun the single setback. Stocko back to throw. Quarterback draw inside the five. Touch right to the end zone. Touchdown Wisconsin. John Stocko on the quarterback draw, and the Badgers take the lead, 24 seconds remaining. What a super job up front by Wisconsin's offensive line. They created a running pocket for Stocko, and he had a great lane, did a good job of just picking his way. Once he got past the line of scrimmage, Stocko kept his head up found the opening and then lowered the boom into the end zone. What a great call by Paul Chris. How unlikely was that? Taylor Melhap the extra point try. Snap. Spot. The kick is good. 24 seconds remaining. Wisconsin 23. Michigan 20. Now remember, Michigan has two timeouts remaining. And it only needs a field goal to stay alive to send this game into overtime. So this bad boy is not over yet. Mike Lucas ready for the sprint to the locker room, heading down that way. We'll hear from Barry Alvarez and the coordinators, co-coordinator Paul Christ and defensive coordinator Brett Bielema. But we still have 24 agonizing seconds remaining. The Badgers with a three-point lead at 23 to 20. As John Stocko, a quarterback draw, runs in from five yards out. A back and forth game here in Madison. Badger kick cover unit jumping around as the crowd does the same. Deep men for Michigan, the dangerous Steve Preston, along with Grant Mason. 24 seconds of football remaining here in the fourth quarter. A three-point Badger lead. An 11-play, 52-yard scoring drive for the Wisconsin Badgers to take the lead in the final minute. Taylor Melhaft with the approach and the kick. A line drive to the far side. It will skid into and out of the end zone with a touchback. And the Wolverines start at their 20-yard line with 24 seconds left. And in comes Jason Chapman again who was shaken up in the last defensive series for Wisconsin. He's been shaken up a couple of times in this game, and two times he's come off the deck as he rejoins his line mates up front for John Palermo's group. He has Nick Hayden out there with him, along with Kurt Ware and Matt Shaughnessy. Your linebackers are Sanders and Zalewski. Nickel package, Rowan, Langford, Bell, Rogers, and White. Single receiver to the right. He's chasing Avant. He is wide. And now Steve Preston comes out. Slot right. Mario Manningham to the left. Badgers get organized defensively. Single running back is Kevin Grady. On first and ten, handing a deep drop. Back to throw. Under pressure. Right side pass. Caught by Avant. Across the 40 and up to the 44-yard line. Brought down by Johnny White. Clock stops. 17 seconds left as they move the sticks. Michigan has two timeouts available. And they're going to use one of them now. That was another dart from Chad Henney. Gain of 24 yards. Now as we look at Garrett Rivas, his longest field goal of this season happened earlier in this game. And that was 43, make that 44 yards. His career long is 47. So that means that Michigan would need about another 26 yards to get to what would seem to be the maximum distance for Riva. 17 seconds left, 23-20, Wisconsin. Michigan still has one timeout available. Brett Bielema and John Palermo huddling with the defense. 
E.K. Franks, graduate assistant coach, talking with the secondary. First and 10, Michigan at its own 44-yard line. Wolverines going right to left. Ball at the right hash mark. Manningham wide right. Avant and Breston to the left with Breston wide. He is checked by Langford. Kevin Grady, the lone setback. Penny pulls for the ball, gets it and drops back to throw. It's a deep drop, looks, shoots it left side, and it is broken up at the 40-yard line. LaVon Rowan breaks up the pass, which was intended for Jason Avant. 12 seconds left. Second and 10, Michigan at the Wolverines 44-yard line. The Badgers leading 23-20 to before a sellout crowd at Camp Randall Stadium. Second and 10. Wolverines break their huddle. Avant wide to the right. He's checked by Bell. That'll be Preston and Bell. Three receivers right, one left. Penny from the shotgun. Takes the snap, back to throw, under some pressure, sets up, flag down, passes incomplete, a little behind Antonio Bass. Should have a holding penalty coming up against Michigan. Six seconds left. Holding. Michigan. Take it. Six seconds left, and it's probably a Hail Mary now for Michigan. 23-20, Wisconsin. Dave Whitfoot on the call. During the play, holding offense number 79, 10 yards from the previous spot, repeat second down. Wolverines backed up to their 34-yard line. It's second and 20. It might be second and 66. 23-20 Badger lead, six seconds remaining. Everybody's up at Camp Randall. Breston, Avance. Bass to the right, Tyler Ecker to the left, Penny from the shotgun, back to throw, four-man rush, fires over the middle, Eckert broken up by Jack Aguano, Jack Aguano, one second left, one play left for Michigan, Jack Aguano breaks up the pass, the Wolverines have one more shot, third down, 66 yards to go for Michigan, 23-20, Wisconsin. The Badgers are one play away from defeating Michigan for the first time since 1994. Here we go. Avant, Manningham, and Breston wide left. And now Manningham will motion to the right. Penny from the shotgun. Final play of the game in Madison. Penny takes the snap. Four-man rush. Deep drop it. Henny slipped. Fell down. The game is over. The Wisconsin Badgers have beaten the Michigan Wolverines 23-20. to Chad Henny was trying to roll to his left, but he slipped and fell down, and the Badgers get the win. They improve to 4-0. We talk about memorable moments at Camp Randall Stadium. Add this one. Final score, Wisconsin 23, Michigan 20. Because of this, we made Ford Super Duty the most capable heavy-duty pickup ever. Because of this, we built Ford F-150 with 375 horsepower and best-in-class payload. Rescue 614 because of this, we built Ford Ranger with the terrain management system. And because Ford trucks are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. 
Get to B-Dubs on Thursdays for buy one, get one free boneless wings. Or as we like to say, 100% more wings. That's right. When you buy boneless wings on Thursdays, you get the same amount of wings for $0.00. Basically, the second order is 100% off. So get here for buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. Buffalo Wild Wings. Roar! Buy one, get one of equal value free. Dine in at participating locations. Takeout is limited and may vary by location. Size exclusions may apply while supplies last. Limit one offer per customer. Not valid with any other coupon. On the Badger Sports Network, you've been listening to the Wisconsin football dream season presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by Alliant Energy, powering beyond Case IH. Enter the red zone with Case IH. Visit CaseIH.com backslash Badgers. U.S. Bank, helping individuals and businesses work toward their financial goals. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by DeKalb. Winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb Brand Corn. Welcome to the Badger Post Game Show. Welcome to the Ford Post Game Show. Quite the rally for the Wisconsin Badgers, putting 17 points on the board in the fourth quarter in this electrifying win against the Michigan Wolverines in as clutch a late game drive as we have seen in a long time from Badger football, capped by John Stocko's quarterback draw. Ironically, that's a play that they really didn't spend a lot of time practicing, but they made it count at the best possible time. Let's move on now to our Annex Wealth Management difference maker of the game, Annex Wealth Management. Know the difference. Yeah, the quarterback draw is a famous moment in Badger football history, but we cannot forget the effort of Brian Calhoun. 35 carries, 155 yards, and a touchdown, and had a key block on Stocko's game-winning touchdown. A very, very tough running back who had a big night and a big season for the Wisconsin Badgers. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll take a look at next week's dream season matchup as our Ford postgame show continues. This is the Wisconsin football dream season from Learfield IMG College. In these challenging, uncertain, uncharted times, you stand strong. No matter the conditions you face, you get the job done. You are the backbone of our communities. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. Welcome back to the Ford Post Game Show. We hope you've enjoyed our look back at the 2005 matchup between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Michigan Wolverines. And we hope you will join us for our next dream season game on Saturday, May 1st, as we turn back the clock to 2011, the Badgers and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's Nebraska's first official conference game as a Big Ten member. Boy, did they get a welcome to remember. Check it out on YouTube.com slash Wisconsin Badgers or check it out on the radio statewide on the Badger Radio Network. We thank you for joining us this week. For those watching on YouTube, stick around. The fifth quarter presented by American Family Insurance is coming up next. We hope you'll join us next week for the Badgers and Nebraska from 2011. This is the Wisconsin football dream season from Learfield IMG College.
You've been listening to the Wisconsin Football Dream Season, presented by American Family Insurance. Also brought to you by UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. Visit uwsportsmedicine.org. American Family Insurance, because your dreams deserve a champion. Cenex, powered locally. And by Case IH. Enter the red zone with Case IH. Visit CaseIH.com backslash Badgers. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Badger Sports Network.